Bonsoir. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? How is everyone on this fine Sunday? Oh, sorry. Tuesday. Sorry. I, we, we normally do this on Sundays. Some tech goblins came along, but I, I was able to put them to work, and now we can do this on s s Tuesdays. Thank you, Sam, for the positive check. I'm already seeing a very straight. <laughs> also, hello, Colin. And thank you for following Dragon Duels. Thank you, uh, thank you Hamilton. I really appreciate that. Hi, Mac. How you doing? And hello, Cheryl. And everyone else in chat. Howdy. Time for the party. Oh, Super Party D and D dab. Let me just let me help you that one, Sam. Let me just. Where is? Where's my dab remote? It should be there. It's not there. There you are. But yeah. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to uh, session eleven. I'll throw on top sands. Um, I'll be your DM, uh, Kaz, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick recap of the session because it's been, it feels like forever since we last played. Or I'm gonna do a attempt at a recap. Yes, I'm satisfied, I'm glad so. Um, so there's our three characters, Pymera, who is a tabaxi wildfire druid. There is Lo-Fi Boy, who is a warforged, or forged barbarian, technically. He, he wasn't made for war. And there is Lonico, who is a human bard. And these three have just reached Iso City. Well, they were originally five. There was Rocky, the uh, Urchinasi fighter. Yes, Urchinasi, <laughs> Urchinasi fighter. And there was Lacera Show, who was a paladin tiefling. But um, upon reaching Iso City, uh, Rocky was arrested for, um, for being an Urchinasi that wasn't where they should be in in that uh, social position and um they had put a hole in the world previously so lacera had to leave the party to take some responsibility and help fix and fill that hole but last session the uh, the three primera lo-fi boy and lonico were traveling through isotope sea and getting some paperwork organized so that they can become official members of the adventures league shirei leo branch and while doing that, they also got some documents for Pymera because she doesn't have a birth certificate uh, because Druids don't have those. And um, and then uh, Pymera just suddenly took a nap. So they had to take her home or back to the inn at the Adventure to Root Inn, which is a um, established base for members of the Adventures Guild in Isoto. There was... um. So Lo-Fi Boy and Lonico had a very cute little session together where they just went and got some treats, done some clothes shopping, stumbled upon a uh, bunch of priests and um, passerbys making floats for a special death parade. And they found a familiar friend in the trash nearby. <laughs> uh, time, uh, Time the Echo Knight, who is the owner of Shiki, which is a little tiny pet dog. Uh, that would that is times, but Shiki's was traveling the group for like a few uh, for a few sessions. Prison mandatory butt butt <laughs> paperwork. True fancy. Exactly, Colin. True fancy. It's I like to add bureaucracy to my uh, D and D games. I think it's I think it's hilarious. I never felt more like another world than before. <laughs> I never butt in another butt before. Wow. Also, thank you for reaching out the stream, Young. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Up next, the party files their taxes. No need. But, like, the taxes... There are tax deductions that the party are aware of. 20% uh, goes to the Adventurers Guild whenever they make uh, a reward of that. But uh, there's your recap uh, from last session and a very basic <laughs> overview of, like, the events. They put a hole in the world and now they're trying to fix it. Um, but, yeah, that's the recap. I am going to go back to the group, uh, we're going to get a, a play of the voiceovers and then we're going to go into the theme song and then we're going to go into playing some D&D. &D. So uh, sit back, hop aboard the Sunset Rail and I hope you enjoy.
Oh, also apology. There are a few cats in sh uh, on the mic right now. Sorry about that. My name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bard. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music can make people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means Little Seer with stars in her eyes, and it was given to me because I was born with a connection to spirits. Fire spirits, especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm travelling with my friend the Sarah. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time, and if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there, let me introduce myself. I'm Lothar Show and I'm a paladin in training at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is going to be so fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yes. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This. My name is Rocky. I come from Bronslau. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose, to document the plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So my exchange for work abroad was settled and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home and gardens were raided. I, I still remember how the earth shattered, as did my heart, while each member of my family fell. In the aftermath, days and night faded into each other, and I felt the life of the garden slowly reach inside of me tear at the broken shambles of my body, slowly turning it all back to earth. However, to my surprise, I slowly regained functionality. The plants and flowers that I had cared for seemed to somehow remember my presence, and having taken root inside of me, grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose, and to whom I owe my existence, Thing I know is that there is hope even in a fragmented self. When a 
bright close my eyes. I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers that continue to sustain me. And I know that I'll never be alone again. Truly, there's something magical about life. Bonsoir! <laughs> hi, uh, hi everyone, welcome to Session Left Not Throwing It Up Sands. Um, these are my players, Georgia. Hello! Hello. Who you, hello. Who are you playing? Uh, I am playing Lonico, um, a level 2 bard. We're level 2, aren't we? <laughs> yes, you're level 2. Yes. <laughs> We're level 2. Um, apologies if my little profile picture on screen lights up a lot. My cat is sitting on my lap and will not shut up. <laughs> no worries. We have with us Beth. Hello, it's me. It is you. Who are you playing? Uh, my name is Pimera. I am a tabaxi rogue. No, I'm not a tabaxi rogue. Just kidding, I'm a druid, <laughs> but I do rogue things like stab people. <laughs> you do. She tries. And with us we have Sam East. Hello, I'm Sam or Lo-Fi Boy. I'm playing Lo-Fi Boy. I <laughs> speak words and function pretty well. Um, mm -hmm. Other than like um, the fear of loss and uh, having people die around me. So other than that, you know, it's all good. Plants are cool. They grow inside of me. And can go next to you! Sad boy boy. I think we should have called him emo boy, but that's just my that would be, would that be 3 and 0? Th 3 and no, 3 and 0, that was it. Alright, yeah. yeah, maybe, uh... Lo-Fi boy is like sad boy times. <laughs> but, like, you know, there's other emotions, like, um... Hi-Fi... Mid-Fi... <laughs> 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 low oh, mid. Low. Oh, low. Oh. Oh. Actually, I think you'll find I'm the famous uh, oh, yes. musician low fi boy. I forget. Uh, I forgot right. about that. So I I'm still trying to contact the police for this. I my identity has been stolen by a 15 year old child. But, you know, like, other than that, I'm just like. Right oh, in front of you. I also constant fear of like being rebooted because you know plants are growing outside of me, and apparently all the authorities are like, "Hey, are you sure you don't need a little like checkup to be like uh, reset?" And I'm like, "No, please, I have emotions now." So 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you even dress like Pinocchio. Oh my gosh, he's a really, really tall metal Pinocchio. Uh, you know I Pinocchio 3000? <laughs> this is no, him after middle no. school. <laughs> oh, you I do have a cloak, yeah. Real boy. <laughs> but you got boy in your name. Oh, I even have like... Oh, true. But I even have like wooden things. Like, you know, yeah. his nose gets bigger. I have plants that, you know, um, bloom. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Also, I would like to say, Mac, he really do be saying it's you yeehaw time. You should have seen, you should, I, I recommend checking out the Rocky one shot, where it's just mm. Rockies. Everyone's playing uh, Rockies. It's beautiful. the best. It was one of my best sessions of D&D I've ever run. It's same with Tiny Barbarian. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was same, the same I, cast. I fell in love with Rocky all over again. Like, I thought that that Rocky boy was already rocking my world, but boy, did I know, did, like, no, that pebble turned into a boulder in my heart. It, like, <laughs> it was so fun. Mm, it's also technically canon. <laughs> so, like, it, it is. It is in the uh, TAS uh, playlist. So if you want to catch one of the mm -hmm. sessions, it would be part of the chronological order of watching. Um, I cried. Like not 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 like in role playing. Like I, I like real tears. This is why I play Lo Fi Boy, okay? But like, I, cry. I play Lo Fi Boy to cry. <laughs> do be like that. <laughs> but anyways, but also uh, thank you, Colin, for letting us know. Ah, uh, perfect. I made sure. I was hoping that everything was perfectly balanced. I wanted to come in kicking. Um to try and catch up and get us back on schedule. Um, and so we're gonna go straight into the session. So we're gonna put you on the map of Isotope City. The city with no filling. Uh, to those that like are new to this, uh, the campaign and the stream, Isotope City is a very modern um, aesthetic city. So like it's, although it has a facade of Sharia Leone value, such as having a pagoda, and like these aesthetical things that would relate to Sharia Le Leone architecture here and there. It also tries to take into account a lot of global influences such as um, tall skyscrapers, grand buildings from like all over the world. And like Art Deco is very, very present in the aesthetic. Uh, large wi uh, buildings with windows that like uh, sh you could be uh, offer like windowed shop fronts. Uh, with all sorts of wares and like if you can see the map you can see some of the many things that Isotor has to offer yeah yeah uh you, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna first zoom in on Pimera who is having a little cat nap over in um the adventures route so I'm just gonna close that for a second and put Pimera on the map where she should be, right there. I'm gonna do a little zoom. So Pimera, you wake up in your in the bedroom that you ha guys have all been sharing. You're sleeping on your bed, curled up uh, in your sheets, and you can you can see that there's uh, sunlight shining through. Uh, it looks to be midday. Uh, you remember last? You remember last? Um, having to give some documentation uh, with um, to both the Adventurers Guild and the uh, Department of Magical Verification to get pa uh, paperwork sorted. And Lo-Fi Boy and yourself and uh, Lo Nico were going to spend the rest of the day just winding down. And um, yeah, and you just wake up. Slurp, slurp. Oh, I'm gonna change the music as well. Am I the only one in the room? Yeah, it's just you. It's your normal, yeah. the normal bedroom you guys have been sleeping in. Huh? Oh, where is everyone? Oh no, they're supposed to be doing the stuff. We're supposed to be doing the stuff. We're supposed to go places. Oh no! I must get there first. I have to tinkle first. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Run out of oh the to go find my friend. 
as you go to rush out the door, you slam face first into a person. And oh, you both I'm so sorry. get knocked back onto the ground. Uh, you're now on the floor, um, on your ass. And you can see in front of you a elf in um, in a white shirt and red waistcoat that has like scales on it. And you notice it's the same... Um, it's the same clerk that like has been at the reception um that's like that's been attending us as while you've been staying <laughs> hello can i help you yes um i didn't i didn't realize you were awake i have um your paperwork they've all they've all gone through uh, you're verified um everything is 100 percent on the books i have all your documentation and i actually have your first um uh, probation quest available as well if you would want to take that uh just give me a minute i just gotta quickly quest. yes you remember you you're joining the guild and just to make sure you're you're fit for adventuring oh you... right the baby quest to make sure that we can hack in slash adequately okay yes yes yes, 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 yes. uh just give me a second because you <laughs> we just got 100 bits from nate thank you so much uh nate for the 100 bits i'm just finding <laughs> you okay then <laughs> Is it a fair ball? He's a Pimera. Uh, mm. Pebble insurance. <laughs> there we are. Um, Thank you. Um, where should I keep this? Um, if you've, I mean, you can, like, you, the paperwork for this, uh, you could just, like, if you want to put it somewhere for safekeeping. If you, as long as you have this uh, badge, he gives you a, um, a dragon, um, like it's a dragon a pin with a dragon facing side profile in a red uh, red dragon in a circle. I'm just awesome. gonna put you, I'm gonna put you on the other screen just so I can show you what it looks like. Actually, no, I can show you here. I'm stupid. Give it, give me a second. I had it on the side. Where are you? Is it you? in the corner? It is it? Did I put it in the corner? I did. Yes. <laughs> this is uh, that's the pin that that's, he gives that's you. A dragon. Yes, that's a dragon. He gives you three of those, uh, Pimera. No, sorry, four. Uh, can you put Rocky, yourself, um, Lonely Cut, and uh, Lo-Fi Boy. Uh, that's what you guys see. Ooh, 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 very cute. I love this. Also, everyone has a plus one for 10 minutes. Thank you, Nate, for the hunch bits. Wow, well, thanks. I want to roll on finding. <laughs> uh... 2,000 gold in the <laughs> court, in the crack of the floor that looks really shiny that I've been eyeing since last session. I haven't mm -hmm, talked mm -hmm. to you about uh, it because I was like... Yeah, sure, that's uh, DC 30. Uh, please roll a straight D20 plus one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh... But yeah, I am going <laughs> to... <laughs> that wasn't oh, even shit. A that was it wasn't. It, it was, was not. Plus one. I was so close. That was good. Um, but he gives you uh, <laughs> he gives you a card, uh, pie mirror. That's just like a square sheet of paper, and I'm just gonna show it to all of you guys, so you guys can see what it looks like. It's a um, it's a sheet that looks kind. It's phone number. No, no, this is the quest card. Oh. Okay. And he hands it to you, and he gets up, dusts himself. Uh, good luck. And then he rushes off, very nervously. And I'm gonna get a timer going for your ten minutes, cause I can't find. Why is everyone always nervous around me? Do I smell? Maybe I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to check if you smell? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I took a cat nap back like a. A week ago. Yeah, I was gonna say like I think I think you guys did clean yourselves when you got here. Give me a second, please. Sorry, my phone was on Maybe the other side of the room. Maybe it's my cat net breath. Sometimes <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no. So. Oh, no. <laughs> you've been given this card, but you have no clue where the rest of the group are. Um, how would you? go about trying to find them. Let me curious see.
Why? I would like to go find my friends. Oh. Oh. We are back, I think. Where is this void? Are you back? Hello? Thank you. Thank no, you, Ronnie, for stopping by. Oh, it just oh. said reconnect. Wait, are we? Oh, we are. Oh, Please. sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, thank you, Ronnie, for stopping by and lurking. Um, but yeah, sorry, you same primer. The 10 minutes starts now uh, on the plus one that you guys get. So you don't need to worry oh, about it. Okay. Don't, don't, you don't need to stress if, like, you don't use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would like to look at the map and see if I can find my friends without getting lost. Because it's a big ass city. It is, it is. So. Mm -hmm. If there are. Just happens to be like a bookstore or like a library on the way, though. <laughs> there is. <laughs> there is. <laughs> Maybe people oh at little so, <laughs> so there is. The Lashon Pagoda is right there. But the, on the uh, the way there, there is the Golden Dragon bookstore. Just next to the train station. Probably just like pop in there for like a second, right? Like, <laughs> is it? Said no loving books ever. Mm. <laughs> Would you like to just go uh, straight? I, I won't buy a book. <laughs> I won't do it. Not unless it's look. the one that I need. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. What is my what? carry weight? <laughs> I, I got a bag on there, right? <laughs> you do have a bag. You wouldn't need to worry about carry weight also. I, I don't know. Is it a bag of holding? Like, how many things can I fit in this? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> you wouldn't need a bag of holding, is all I'll say. Okay. But yeah. Uh, you want, so do you want to head to the bookstore then? I will casually walk past it and see if it has anything interesting in the window. All right, give me a second so I can load my sh sheet. Um, you have a sheet for the window? No, no, no. I have a sheet for like Isto City and like all the shops and stuff that you guys can stop okay. at. Stop at. <laughs> I was kind of messing with you, but like imagine like uh, the the bookstore window. Uh, let me get that. <laughs> let me get that nice specific of... document. Yes. <laughs> all right, yeah. It should be... Where are we? There you are. <clears throat> you walk by the Golden Dragon book side. The You see that the emblem of it is a Golden Dragon curled atop a pile of books. And um, turning to look at the window, the building is quite small. It's just a two-story building. And the, sh the shop itself looks to be just on the, um, the bottom floor. And it's just one large... Uh, window and you can see yeah. on either side of the wall uh, the window um, in between the door I mean beside the door sorry the doors right in the middle you can see there's just like a a bunch of displays of various books uh, from both fiction and non-fiction and you can just like see like they're just showing various new releases and um, it looks to be fairly it's more I would say from like the people coming in and out, they look to be more, um, not like it, like it looks almost like it's a chain of bookstores is, is the way I'd describe it. It it's not like it doesn't have small bookshop charm. If, 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 that, if that makes sense, it just <laughs> almost sterile. If that makes sense in like book bookshop terms. It's a very commercial bookstore. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mm. thank you, Giorgio. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you see. Oh, so it has like the basic stuff, like, um, like the poor cat's bee and like, you know. Yes. <laughs> Pride and prejudice. <laughs> um. The catcher and the white bread. <laughs> Small ladies. <laughs> Lord of the Things. Yeah. No, no, you no. Know, no. That kind of Isn't stuff? that the Circle of Lords, or was that what was that Circle of Kings? Was a. Uh, oh that yes, one you confusing yes. Me with. The my the Circle of Kings is one of yes. my favorite series. <laughs> mm. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's got yeah, it's just like the um, the expected classics and like mm. just 
like best like best sellers like that would like appear like on um, top 10 lists are like it's gotcha, yes yes okay i guess i will skip it for now but i'll keep it on the list mm-hmm. yeah uh so while you're doing that then i'll get i'll t- assume you're to walk in toward the lush and pagoda so i'm gonna move over to low nico and lo-fi boy who are in an alleyway and you guys have just like <laughs> no. sorry it's okay. you, just you, a smell. You... there was a lot of trash in the alleyway if i remember correctly there was but trash <laughs> when you guys like you saw shiki run oh i should do this yeah you saw shiki running towards um this specific alleyway and following her you notice the deeper you got into it, you, it the smell was less and less of trash it got a lot more pleasant and um when you got deeper within you started smelling oranges and lavenders and you saw like as you um saw shiki just trying to like scramble out like a, a pile of trash uh, you, I think you, I believe Lonika, you helped uh, pull a bit of the trash away. Yeah. And you just saw Time's mask looking back at you, and then Time rolling out of the trash, and then having <laughs> a one does. yes, and he had a thud as soon as he hit uh, the floor, almost like someone rolling off a bed to impress a girl. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> he's rolled out of the rolled off the trash, and then just thunks onto the floor. And as soon as he hits the floor. He realizes he's hit solid ground, and he uh, looks up, looks around, and sits up, and then crosses his legs. And so, like now, he's about um, eye level with you, low, as time comes to climb onto his uh, lap. And I've just put on screen for those I don't know uh, of time, who is this traveling, for lack of a better word, hobo, uh, tiefling hobo in a mask, um, and his ethereal. Echo Shiki the dog, uh, the Shiba Inu. She has a bell on her now. She does have a bell, and she's jingling away. Time is actually playing with the bell when um when you notice this is oh this is this is nice. Thank you for thank you for taking care of uh, Shiki. Uh, when he speaks, you recognize his familiar echoey voice that feels like it's almost coming from within you, and it just like it feels like it's. You feel his voice like resonate through from from the from the base of your feet all the way to your head, like it just fills you up. Is the way I'd uh, describe his voice, and he's just okay. he just tilts his head um, after uh, seeing you guys stop uh, in front of him, and then just waves hello. Um, hey, time. Funny, fine. Is this a usual thing for you to be sleeping in, in, in trash? Sometimes. It's uh, you make a house a home. And a house, and I kind of just point and look at the alley, like it's got a roof. You notice there is like <laughs> there's like a um, just like. Ro- roofing over the buildings kind of cross over one another to create like shadow in this area so like, see roof if it's I got a roof and it's got time. i am perfectly fine thank you we check some tea him... uh, yeah i was gonna offer him one of my suits <laughs> like hold out the little bag i've got oh. he he looks at it oh i i used to, i used to love these but no not not today thank you and he gives it back. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, he, there's now that I uh remember. Um, but didn't you say something? Oh, you know, t- are you busy today? What's your schedule like? Cause mine now is really cleared up, and I feel like you could be in it. And there's a lot of questions I feel like I want to ask you before you run away to some hidden mysterious trash or something. Wait. Hang on now, trash, not all trash is mysterious. To be fair, actually, uh, right, it is trash is treasure for some people. Uh, he rolls, he looks at his wrist. He goes like roll up a sleeve, but he ha- his sleeves are, like he has no sleeves. And he just like looks down at where, his, where a watch would be. 
but there is no watch. I've got time. Yeah. See, did, 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 did you see what I did there? Did you, did you see it? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. She keep, boy dies. She keeps just <laughs> smiles and then just starts uh, patting at him uh, as he does that. Um, T, anyone? I, I tried the last time and my plants didn't really enjoy the tea. Lonely Cove, I, I assume with the amount of sugar you have taken, some uh, liquids would help um, satisfy your homeostasis. I feel like as he's saying this, she's probably stuffing another sweet in her mouth. <laughs> like just pushing her mask up enough to like eat a sweet, and then she's like, uh. oh, um, yes, that might be a good idea. Tea would be lovely, Mister Time. Thank mm -hmm. you. Something sweet or not sweet then? Seeing not sweet. Uh, the the most bitter you can get will mm -hmm. create the greatest pH balance internally. He, he nods at you, Love Bubble, but then he turns to Lone Econ. You, Lo, you just hear the faintest chuckle from him. And then... <laughs> I am just going to pull up <laughs> the list of teas he has. Give what? <laughs> <laughs> you actually have... I, 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 I have a specific list of things for like certain people, and time has like a list of things. I can't believe. Yeah, he uh, pulled out the same part. Of uh, that he made the tea, uh, tea for you guys the first time you guys met, and he just throws in some tea bags in, and then you see his um, his little dog uh, mug, and he just pours endless amount of hot water that just steams the moment it like hits the um, the inside of the tub, and you see him just like little like dogs uh, like are circling around his hand, and they look to give off like a warm fiery glow as he does that and i'm just gonna find something just to let you know what that tea he's making smells like but anything you guys want to ask while uh, or do while he's uh, making the tea because he's just he's he's focused on that as he's doing that um uh, so Lonico, um do you have any questions? Because I, I have a uh, have a few questions. Um, do you want to make conversation? I don't want to pee on. It looks like you want to talk, but I'm not sure. Well, no, you can go ahead, Lofi boy. I don't mind. By the way, it smells like <laughs> it smells like autumn peaches. Uh, the tea. Oh, nice. Um. All right. Um. So, Mister Time. Time. Is it just time, or is it Mr. Time? You can call me Time. Okay, um, Time. So, um, here's the thing, dude. We... Remember the last time we met, like, we were, like, chilling, um... Like, we would just beat up some, like, little, small, baby yokai. They were, they were fine, you know, just throwing a pebble, and at the time, you know, we were, like, learning how to breathe and stuff, being level one, I mean, uh, our constitution, you know, just basic, uh, stuff, uh, creatures. But mm -hmm. then, um, we, we took your advice into, um, our mind, or I, I remember saying, like, oh, be, be careful at night, yokai, travel around, blah, 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 and mm -hmm. you seem to be very about yokai am i wrong thinking that i'd say so i mean i i'm just because i travel a lot i see a lot of yokai at night Nothing. okay but like didn't you want to tell us about like yokai like i don't know like um being able to like have like three thousand and two eyes and like uh like multiple hands and like uh, are you aware of that brand species I've, I've uh, carried yokai with a lot of hands and eyes and mouths. Uh, is there a guy you'd like to, like, you know, just, I don't know, like, like if we were, say, your friends and you want, wouldn't want us to, like, you know, die unexpectedly from, like, a, some kind of yokai or something, like, don't you have, like, any, like, no. something inside, um, I don't know what you're trying to ask, to be honest. 
as he scoops a uh, one of his like he pulls out a little little dog mug and then scoops it up and then hands it to uh, Lo. Oh, thank you. I, I'm, I'm asking, um, uh, don't you find, is there, so you felt that it was right telling us to be careful about yokai at night, right? Yes, I mean, Which... it's just, I think anyone would, would say that, surely. Okay, but... Like, is there any other kind of yokai? Are yokai all dangerous? We've met Lo, Lo, Lo Nico, you talked, we talked, we met Mr. Um, what was their name? Um, oof, um, uh, I'm gonna scratch my brain that I don't have my memory storage I'm system. Gokuru? Huh? Gokuru? Yeah, yeah, Gokuru. Um, they were, a uh, Docile yokai. Mm. It's thing as well. well Mr. Lo-Fi Boy, it was only the yokai that had touched the break in the world weave that were um, uh, corrupted, I suppose is the word. When... Yeah, uh, what's the corruption time? What's that? What? what tell us something. When you mentioned the world weave, he did tilt his head uh, towards you, Lo. Um, but then he turns back to Lofi Boy. Well, hmm. I guess maybe exposure to something that isn't normal to them might shift their balance. PH, if you will, might shift their PH to something that's oh. a bit off. Right? Loniko. He, he turned to Lo. Did, did, is, is that you use PH? Is that what that is? I, I, I turned to Loniko. I'm like, yeah. Loniko, give me the candy. Loniko, I interrupted you. Loniko, please come back to us. How are you to do something? As, as Lo, you, uh, Lo Fibre was overreacting, he puts his hands up. I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think the sweets will, will corrupt. The little one. It's... What about her mobile state? Are you telling like is it Mr. like Mr. boy, I'm not i I'm not a yokai. I'm, I think it'll be mm. okay. I've seen many children oh. eat many sweets in my time and they've never They've never turned into yokai, love fight boy. Oh but okay. Uh, okay, oof. I mean, you know, if I had a breath I'd catch it right now, uh but like don't scare me like that. I don't wanna, you know. I didn't. Like, mean, I didn't mean to scare. So okay then. And Shiki, uh, another question then. Uh, Shiki so, uh, gets off his lap and then goes towards you, Lover, and starts circling around your legs, just uh, trying. Uh, I'm just trying to calm you down. I'm not sure what the dog is supposed to do, so I'm kind of just stepping back and forth, like, from <laughs> side to side, like, thinking that it wants to be somewhere, and I'm not realizing that it's just trying to, like, like, soothe me, and so it's just making me more awkward and, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> Sit, Shiki. She sits. <laughs> okay. So, in between my legs, the little doggy dog. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, um, you know what, um... Uh, 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 another really important question that, like, uh, is, is corruption a permanent state, uh, for the yokai? Because that is something that, or, or, okay, what do you do when you come across corrupted yokai? That's my actual question. Do you just remove them from the world? Do you turn them back? My, my normal thoughts are just, uh, to run away, to be fair. That's not when that's not an option. Let's say you're in the alley and you're sleeping in trash, and then like three yokai come up to you and they're corrupted. What do you do? I'd run faster. But they catch up to you. What do you do? It, let's say for the hypothetical, is is impossible for me to run away? Mm -hmm. Then I would have to fight them. And I would have to send them back once they came. And are they okay? 
So, other question. Um, do they have there any been any in your experience from traveling a lot? Once they're corrupted, is it too late? Like a dead plant can't be a plant anymore and is only become like hmm. how when like a mushroom grows from a tree, you can't revert the mushroom back into a tree. Are are it corrupted yokai like mushrooms? Hmm. I wouldn't know, to be honest. But I could assume he pulls out uh, a dried um, flower. Uh, that's a pink uh, five-petaled flower. Let's say this autumn blossom is a spirit. And when I dry it and turn it into tea, I've corrupted it. That is still it's still the same essence is the way i'd put it and but they still have a spirit and so when that's moved on to its next cycle such as being drunk that spirit moves on and then through nature's process that spirit might come back and become something else maybe so that's my so basically dangerous corrupted yokai should die all right that's what you're saying like they, 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 they've come a pass of no point of return and the only thing you can do is ease them into moving on and becoming something else in their next thing or something okay okay um he just shrugs his shoulders uh, but that, as, that answers my questions. As he shrugs his shoulders um, and then just gives you a nod at you um, for getting to your solution, you you guys can hear um, someone walking by the alley and Pymera, <laughs> like I'll, I'll, I'll just be straight up, uh, you... As you are walking by, walking by, you turn to look into an alley, and you can hear Lo-Fi Boy's voice coming from it. And then you can see Lo-Fi Boy standing with Shiki in between his legs, Lo Nico drinking some tea, and Time sitting on the floor with a bowl of tea in front of him, amongst trash. It's the little baby! Hello with your little bell, do you love it? She comes up to you running very happy and she jingles as she does. This little baby girl. Oh, hello, time. Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> he the time runs at you. Would you like some tea? Oh, um. It's just. Sure. Do oh, you sorry. have anything with mint or in it? I just woke up. It's autumn awesome peach. I could check if I've got mint, and you just see him pull out a bunch of like uh, little plastic bags, S and then he goes to, like sniff some of them. No, not that one. Um, that one, and then he puts a few mint leaves in uh, into your tea, and then hands it to you. Oh, it's thank you. Warm to the touch, but it's the perfect temperature for you. You're so good at this game. I love this. Or make me oh, tea. oh, oh, oh. Uh, Primera, now that you're here, it, it occurred to me. Remember when we all killed the, those yokai monsters in their sleep? Oh, well, yes. Like, I wouldn't say that super the... loud. We are in the city, but yes. <laughs> you, people we, over what yokai. was it? We, we did the stabby stab technique that you, you talked that you learned thing. Anyways, yes. I just learned and, uh, time just confirmed that like yokai are horrible creatures that don't belong to this world and that they deserve a death and being like like that they should be put better back into their place. So I felt like sharing with you that like yeah this stabby stab was a good a good call but then Oh so you mean we were justifying and murdering them all. Okay, well that's good. Oh, speaking of murdering things, I have something for all of you. And I uh, give them the thing. 
No, it's not murder. It's it's license to kill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's uh, so. I guess technically, it's also yeah. murder. Just here, go. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Palmer hand you all one of your adventure league badges, and I'd, I'd take it you'd show them the card as well. Oh yeah. Also, there's this thing which does not have a phone number on it. Um, it is our uh, lessons to kill. But what we're supposed to go do, I guess, to prove oh. that we are good enough at the stabbing to get into the guild, which at this point, I think they should just really give it to us because we've jumped through so many hoops. But it's... Honestly. My opinion does not matter here, but that's fine. So oh. we got to go do the thing. Oh, that's Interesting. Exciting. Time just mutters to himself as he's holding a mug of tea. You notice he doesn't uh, drink any of it, though. That's interesting, Time. Just you guys being adventurous and having a license to kill. He Don't says you have with a chuckle. I'm not an adventurer. I'm just a traveler. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, but that, I mean, look, I really didn't want to have one, but I guess we have to because there are rules here. So, how, how you know how much it in? was? It was so expansive. Okay, yeah. like there were so. Oh, God. Yeah. I, 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 I find my way. Okay. You I love how mysterious you are. You know, Primera. You know, maybe he's not to be so envious about when he's sleeping in trash. Um, I can hear I you. Think uh, I it's, mean, okay, I it's, think okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Really good. Um, no, 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 no. You don't need. You don't need to. That's why I make I'm it smell saying, nice. I I didn't become a wizard well, and not use all these things. I just bought this like jacket or I mean coat thing. It's a nice jacket, and, by the way. Thanks, but you're literally covered in trash, my dude. Like it's not. He he actually isn't. Although like he was sleeping in on um in like the trash. You do notice he is very clean. Like there is there are no marks. Like maybe there's like just a bit like mud and like um like dirt, but like not like uh, trash dirt, if that makes sense. Like it looks like it's dried up dirt. Like, dirt. It's like dried up like mud from a while from a, from a while back, you could assume. Okay. Mr. Lo-Fi Boy, we could go back and get that discount, maybe? Did we were we applying for that? I can't remember. Uh, now that we yeah. we have our uh, Proof of being part of the adventurous guild. Actually, from reading this thing, it seems that like um, we're actually still on probation. Um, this is not exactly. I think this just. It's like our. Do you know how to drive? Um, I'm fifteen. Like a vehicle or like a boat? Like drive what? Like, haven't you heard the protocols? How like newly licensed. Uh, trainee uh drivers have to like put up a sign that says like i'm a danger to society or something like that um I never um, I mean, we're not outside. a danger to society if anything we fucking saved everybody but whatever outside of my temple before this so um no all right uh, well in, in my protocols um basically if this applies in a similar way, we are still a danger to society uh, with our current licenses thing. So we have to prove that we can actually not be a danger by society by killing the right things and not society itself. Oh, I thought we could get the discount just with this, but okay. I'm pretty sure they, they, they have... Because mm, then... If the protocols are, are correct, they would say like, oh, like, you know, anyone could can be an apprentice kid, uh, person adventurer, but I think we need the real thing. I, I'm pretty sure. I, I, uh, DM, I don't mm -hmm. have a question. You don't have a question. Uh, I, oh, I, as a player, I have a question, but Lo-Fi Boy's like so sure of himself that like I wonder as a player, but like I. I mean, you can ask. Ask who? Oh, the person. Me, me, me. Oh. 
<laughs> I would like to ask the DM a question. Go ahead. Who? <laughs> Who do I ask? God. Um. Yeah, is is Lonico right? Is Lonico what? Right about like the like like being on probation. Yeah, like... no, is it enough to get that little uh, discount? You... I think it was fifty percent off. You don't know. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? I'm out of money and life costs things. I need to make my way to uh, get family. Well, they're all dead, but I mean, still, are they still my family if they're dead? Anyways, um, I yes, guess they're so. still your family even if they are dead. So I have some uh, time. Thank you for yourself. You know your time. Um, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I. I. Oh, oh. Do you have like a um a way? <sighs> How can? Where are you uh, uh, off to next time? Uh, will we be seeing you again in the in, around? Maybe. Like it's... I think Shiki wants to say to be fair, so I'll stay for a while. I think. Okay, cool. Well, unless you're gonna help, we've got some um, things to do here to make sure that like we aren't rejected from society again. Such as having enough money because, um, you know, I mean, I, so... I mean, the time, um, I actually mm -hmm. had a had a question for you. Um, of course, far away, little. Stuff. I was just wondering, um, if you knew anything about the yokai in this city. I've never seen yokai mm. being used, or like these ones, uh, being used to pull carts and stuff, and. I was just curious if you knew anything about that. Mm. He he stands up and then he just like tosses out um, the the extra tea that's been made and just like puts away all his equipment as he's um, thinking of an answer. So, I suppose very much not like it anywhere else. I'd say their trail is always a commodity to them. They. They don't want to think like us. I would is, is is an easy way to put that. That makes sense. So they see they see yokai almost as a way to look into um, Shrey Leo's window, so that any tourists that come by can just see these exotic beasts that nowhere else has, and just have them parade around the streets, pulling wagons, being just. <coughs> A part of the day to day, almost to a detriment. A tourist goes out and finds a yokai on the street. That's why I would say for you guys, like I, I say, be careful on, at night. This, but for other people that like would be staying here, they wouldn't know to think that because yokai seem to be so normal. But to be fair, I, I don't think I've spotted any corrupted, corrupted ones here. <laughs> Are you an expert at corruption elimination? Um, would you call yourself that? No, not in the slightest. Do you know who would be that? Are, are, are there, is there such a group of people who are experts at dealing with corrupted yokai? Give me a second. Hmm. I wouldn't... I personally wouldn't know. I think um, there might be one of the wizards at the schools. Or one of the schools might have something for you. Okay. Well, cool. Um, so... Um... If I'm reading this correctly, um, yokai, okay, group, gang, um, we have a few options now, um, I believe the sun has currently set, right, DM? The sun is, it's a, just coming to, like, bait about 5pm. With the current time, I think, um, the going to school thing might be a bit late, 
But we can always scout out the area of the quest if the house is within one of the neighborhoods of the city. Um, and we could check maybe before there's any yokai activity, if yokai activity seems to be more at night. Okay. Um, the Mr. Lo-Fi Boy, um, before we came down here, I actually wanted to go visit the pagoda, if if that's all right. Um, oh, the... right. We were coming for the sunset. I totally yeah. forgot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for sure. Um, yeah, let's uh, do that. And and then we'll probably try to pin that. Yeah, let's go look at this guy. And I guess I start walking away. Towards the um, pagoda? Yeah, I guess. Unless, unless Let's like... Go to the pagoda. Give me some music, just seems louder. Than it does. <laughs> Give me a minute. Have we been without music all this time? No, it just... It just came back. There we go. Oh, well, okay. Fixed. Sorry about that. Um, so what are you doing again? Sorry, you're going. You're gonna head towards Pagoda. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, heading towards Pagoda, you can see people are still like building the parades and the floats, and just making like costumes and like masks for each other. Um, mm. the Pagoda itself is lavish compared to the one from uh, Tahashima Temple. Uh, like the one that you visited a while back and as you guys are um is lavish a good or bad word good very extravagant okay. you can you notice okay, that like you. the walls have like extravagant or lots of like bouginess mm. oh, bougie. you okay, can see cute. that like the walls are ornately gilded with gold um decorations that depict various tales of like um of the mythology of shrele and you can see there's also like a lot of like koi fish specifically and tiny people oh, the fucking fish yes the fish <laughs> koi fish yeah um with that are like wrought into the walls and like it's depicting the tale of the furbolg founding isoto you know being one of the uh, the tales wrought into the wall and you can uh you can see the steps going up into uh, the um, into the uh, blah, blah, blah. into the pagoda that is like being fairly vacant, as like most of the priests are outside tending to these floats and uh, preparing for the festival in the coming days. Um. So I forget. Hello, Nico. Is there a ritual to enter, or do we just go up? Is it... Do different pagodas have different rules? I mean, I guess there's one way to find out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Flo's definitely got, like, a little bounce in her step. Um, mm. She's like, well, it's very similar to um, what we did last time, so we have to wash our hands on mm. the bottom floor. And uh, I... I think does this pagoda have more layers in it than there the are other one? there are a few more floors it's at least like there's seven floors in this one uh but you know that like even though there's extra floors those extra floors just like um they're like just spaces and rooms for people that want to like rest yeah. um I'm just gonna climb farther <laughs> i will also add uh, you hear shiki's bell jingle as she's with you but time did not uh, leave the alleyway <laughs> Oh, I thought time was with us. No, nope, he did not. No, I like just turning around, realizing he's not here. Yeah, he he he, he did not alert you guys to him not being joining you guys. Mm, what a sneaky guy. I'm sure he has his reasons, but Shiki's him. She's just gonna like pat me and doggo on the head. <laughs> Do you think maybe he doesn't have a bike life? Concert. I mean, that would hurt my feelings, but like, what if he doesn't like us? I mean, she, he, he doesn't shakes. like crowds. You see, she, he shakes. Oh, yeah, that would make sense, when, uh, actually. When you suggest that Pi Mirror and her bell jingles aggressively. When, oh, uh, okay, sorry. I was just asking. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it's the opposite, Chimera. Maybe he only likes us. <gasps> oh, that would be cool. We can be his best friends. Yay! I've never had one of those. What does it take? I, it's not in my um, protocols. You just have to really, really like somebody a lot, but not want to have babies with them. But I don't want to have babies with anyone. Oh, great! So, so then everybody can be your best friend. Yay! Oh, cool. How many is that? Two? How many? Um, Nico, are you also my best friend? Wait, Tamara, you're my best friend, right? Yes, I am your best friend! <laughs> Yay! I mean, that's a good thing, right? It's not like the corruption, right? No, no, that's, that's very good. To have best friend is best, because then... Like, if you... Like, Rocky doesn't want to be my best friend, but I want him to be my best friend, so, like, if we decided to do something illegal, like, break him out of jail, I would do that because <laughs> he's my best friend. But he doesn't like me, so I guess I'm not gonna do that. Oh, well then, if you can't But if friends, you went to jail, then I would mm, definitely break you up. I see. Let's try not but to then, have anyone else in jail. If you can't be best friends, then you can't just have babies, you know? But he doesn't want to have babies with me. We've had this discussion already. He has little pebble Michael. I guess I could take care of Michael and show him that I am a good parent, and then maybe he would let me have babies. Maybe. Luke's just gonna out. laugh and start walking into the pagoda <laughs> whilst they're having this conversation. <laughs> Shiki, Shiki follows you halfway. I guess we're still talking as we're entering and doing the <laughs> washing. As per last time, instead of washing my hands, Lo-Fi Boy will just drip some water on the plant, you know, mm. checking that everything is like yeah. perfectly humid and it's it's very like pristine, clean mountain uh, valley water. Yeah. You know, best it's... friends use lemon water to water your plants and make sure your pH is good. <laughs> well, I, I think with the when it's neutral uh, mountain water like this, um, it, it actually it, it just we don't need the lemon for this mm. kind of procedure. I, um... I, I like that you remember it though. It's um... very crisp. On this floor of the pagoda, like you see, it's like this giant uh, washing fountain essentially. And you see Shiki just like almost jump in to the water and then she just begins cleaning herself. She looks like she knows what she's doing and then she hops out, <laughs> shakes off all the water. You know, she is not wet at all because she's an echo, she can't get wet. But she. But she's still shaking. Yeah, she's, she's still shaking <laughs> and then she jumps out. Um, and then, um, but yeah, you. The inside is, uh, like the outside, very ornate, very lavish. I'm going to actually put on... No, no, I think it's music. It's, this music will be fine. Um, actually, no, yeah. I'm going to... I'm just going to change the music. Sorry, just give me a second. Just got to find um, the vibe. i got to find the vibe. Where's the tempo? I have tempo vibes. Speaking of vibes, if you're enjoying this... Uh, <laughs> oh my, I felt like too much like wow. a person. But... Um... <laughs> There's something called the Vibe Inn. Uh, yes. If you're enjoying this and you like to hang with people who are cool and say words, they're over there. You can join and speak to people too. Exchange words. Have fun. Make a friend. There you go. Wow. Four seven. Four seven friends. They're all best friends, like we have here at the Throne of Top Sand. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I put the, the link for the playlist, but I can't remember what the command is. <laughs> it's okay. I don't actually have um, a command for the playlist. Oh, for the task, you mean, sorry? Uh, yeah, task. Oh, it's just TAS. Yeah. Explanation with TAS. Ah. Um, In case you, anyone wanted to catch up with the past streams. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> like as you guys are washing yourselves, primary you see at the window, or, like there's there's windows lining the inside of the pagoda. You can see mm -hmm. this one giant koi fish uh, float that immediately catches your eyes, and these smaller ones swimming around it, like magically being held in place, circling around it. Is he looking at me? One of the koi fishes while they're floating around do look at you, 
Uh, it's outside. Uh, people are just like building it on the outside. Um, What's it doing? They're just they're just floating, floating around. It's not like it's not an actual like it's just a magical um, like koi fish floating around one little per one big praise uh, uh, float. Sorry, of a koi fish. Okay, and is it looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> one one does look at you. Okay, I'm just making sure because like, hey um, do you guys see this thing looking at me, or am I just? Everyone, you do see the the, the koi fish looking at Pymera. It's just a I'm gonna like Pimera. step from like one side to the other and see if it like keeps looking at me, like dodging around to like see if it's still. It just swims in the air in front of you. Well, not in front of you, but like a few meters away. But it just swim, look at you for a bit. Um. I've taken this as a sign from the. I, guys, I got the. I need. To, I. Why is it look? Okay. Um. Hello, little <sighs> fish. Should I follow you? You Mr. feel Pimera. like it nods at you. <laughs> Mr. Pimera, it's not a real fish. No, it look. It lit. You saw it nod, right? You saw it. They just did it. I asked if I should follow it, and it said yes. Can can I just take Pyro's hand and start leading her into the further up into the tent? No, he wants okay, to you can. go with him. You just can. like gently pulling her along and like yeah. patting her. Hand. My hands are on her shoulder, pushing her away as well. But she she sees this happen and she does. She she tries to help <laughs> hold Pyro down. But, but he wants. He look, look at him and his little fish eyeballs. And he said, "Hello, big fish. You want me to follow you? Please make yes movement so my friends can see that I'm not crazy." He gives the <laughs> subtlest of nods. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you, you want me to go with him? <laughs> we'll, we'll have a look once we're done here, Miss Pinero. Okay? Yeah. It'll still be What if you? What if you look? Cause there's a bunch of those things in this building, yeah. Like they all are in the walls and stuff, and they look at me. No, this isn't inside the building. This is on the outside. This is a float. No, no, like the temple, or like the last one we went through, where they had all the little fish like swimming in the walls and stuff. The, these ones aren't swimming. They're like built into the walls. But like, the, yeah, yeah, these are all still... over. Cool. Don't like that. Um, how about you guys just go in there, and I'll wait out here for you, and uh, hang out with the fish. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye! Sure. Bye! <laughs> I'm going to sprint outside to the fish and start talking to it. You like, see <laughs> Connor just bolt. <laughs> no way. I can't believe Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, um... Um, before... I... Before we... Uh, we're just going to take a quick little intermission. Um, <laughs> what I'm gonna uh, do in the meantime of that, I'm gonna tally up all the uh, entries for the giveaway. But um, oh. we're just gonna take a, a little short little break before we continue, and then we shall see you guys in a hot second. Of that. Is that cool? What's the giveaway about? Uh, can you just remind us? Is, and is there is this the last time to enter? Just this, before? Yeah, the you've count? got. You would have basically like ten minutes to enter. But you can there enter you if you go check my Instagram or my Twitter. Uh, it's for some custom uh, made dice by Nanakan Dice, who does gorgeous dice. And she is a Indian. She's actually the first homemade Indian dice maker, which is really cool to be working with her on this one. And uh, you'll also be getting custom art from me. Uh, and it's uh, based on any one of your characters that you want to enter for if you win the giveaway. Nice. So yeah, if you want to enter, go check out my Instagram uh, or my Twitter. It's the most recent post on Instagram. It's my pinned tweet on Twitter. But yeah, we're going to take a quick break. Anything you guys want to say before okay. you, you, we take a little break? Uh, if... Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, for that. No, but I was <laughs> thinking... Um... If you've been sitting for more than 10 minutes, it could be a good time yes. to get up to, like, have blood flowing and brain. Um, and that's it. Just, uh, <laughs> Take a see you soon. Yeah. yeah.
Do you guys know how to suck?
Bonsoir. We're back. Hello. You should. It's doing that thing, so I'm gonna do this. I'm ah. into the. Uh, hello. Um, we. Things have just happened, uh, which have led to Primera having to leave the session. Um, but we're gonna continue with just Lonico and Lofi Boy. Uh, Primera has just gone to go help build a float. And I'm just gonna do this. Um, if I pause the music and then do this so that the music comes back for the for that um she is she's running after fishes no 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 she's she's just gone to uh, go catch some fishes um hello jacob though thank you so much for the sub it means that uh low five boy and low nico get a plus one on all rolls for the next 10 minutes thank you very much Dwayne rockinson beautiful mac by the way if you're still in chat uh there's there's rock boy there's yeehaw man it's it's plyper yeah, um so you guys were in the pagoda oh the giveaway sorry the giveaway i forgot um <laughs> so the giveaways ended <laughs> so um if someone in chat could roll for me a exclamation mark one d hundred and oh sorry it's a d 146 uh to see who's won the giveaway Alright, Sam, that's the wrong, wrong kind of dice. I will count up to 10 for someone to do it in the chat. Um, and if until then, I will do it myself. <laughs> no D146? Give me a second, let me check. I forgot what the dice was. Bruh. Sorry, yeah, it's a D146. Okay. So one exclamation mark one is four six. The number of head that Lo-Fi Boy has. Two is the number of eyes that he has. Three is the number of times that I've said something stupid in the last ten seconds. <laughs> oh, four is um what I'm looking for. Five. Okay. <laughs> And it's been 10 seconds. I'm gonna enter. No one's doing it. So, Jacob oh. just. Oh! <laughs> wow. oh. wow! Amazing. Wow. Such a high roll. Thank you, Jacob. It was the last person. So, let's. Only oh, second last, sorry. What a, what a high roll. Yeah. Mm. So, it's Kat Minda who actually followed um recently. So, if I don't know if you. I, nice. I don't know if they're in chat right now. Thank, congratulations, Kat the Min. Or Minda Cat. What was this? Sorry, I think it was Cat, cat the Min. Yeah, Cat Minda. Which one is it? It's one of them. It's, it's, it's one of them. It's written in front of you. Just read it out loud. I am. It's Cat Minda on Instagram, I believe. Let me see what it's... Let me check again. Don't, don't read. Like, what's in All front right. of you? Read that. What All is right. it? Cat Minda on Instagram. But also, Cat the Min. I mean, Cat Minda on Twitch. <laughs> I was reading in front of me as well that time. Don't, don't, don't oh, stop. Cat. cat the man, Cat Minda. Well done. Yeah, well done, Cat Minda. That's a, actually a family Does that call. mean Sam died? It yeah, does Lo-Fi Boy is yeah. dead now. All right, let me see. Yeah. Say less. Give me a minute. <laughs> you, you also have a sheet for that, right? For like, when he dies. Yeah. Like, it's already... Next to the sheet of the amount of teas time has, the sheet for what's in the window panes of bookstores. Yeah, exactly. And the sheet for what kind of trash is trash? Uh, I was gonna say trash can, but that's the wrong campaign. Um, is uh, time <laughs> sleeping on? <laughs> yeah, Captain the well done. Um, we're going to continue with the session. Uh, it's pronounced Plyper. Come on now, Jacob. I mean, come on now, Sam. Um, um, yeah, so, oh, yeah, well, I interrupt you like that. Congratulations for the 600 followers, and also congratulations oh. on everyone for making that possible. And, and welcome to the community. And, like, like as Thank you see, you for being like, here. yeah, because, like, My you heart. know, if it's cool like this with all these many cool people, it's got some of you cool people come around in this big circle of friendship where we all hold hands and sing joyous songs of like being <laughs> cool people. 
We're having the adventures of Lo-Fi Boy and Lo Nico again. We are. Shiki, <laughs> we're featuring Do, Shiki. Uh, featuring Shiki. Two people who know absolutely nothing about the world. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that doesn't say much. Primera knew nothing. She knew less, I think. Oh my god, yeah. we're all wandering around, just, you know, discovering yeah, like new things every day. Mm. <laughs> like, it's society and taxes. Exactly! <laughs> yeah, it's the great, it's the big great metaphor to real life. That's what this campaign is about. <laughs> we would love you to be Primera. Mm, you'd be perfect. We'll do Primera verse, and then you can play your part, and bring out your inner Primera. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna continue. You, I'm gonna actually. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the ten minutes from Nate, a hundred bits, uh, on your next roll. So when you next, when you actually roll the dice, I'll add twenty minutes on, and then you roll f from that twenty minutes. So it's a plus. Two. Dang. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You guys were washing your hands. Uh, you saw Pymer rush off after you tried holding her back. But um, you let her go. You let. You let her become a wild cat once more to go oh, look at the zoomies. She did. And now Shiki, having washed herself, she's actually begins uh, climbing up to the next set of uh, the next floor. All right. Let's go and complete the little prayer ritual step. Yeah. As you reach the second floor of the pagoda, this is actually a. Um, there's nothing here. There's just like a few little benches here and there and a few uh, seating arrangements, but nothing actually for like part of the uh, prayer ritual. Uh, but you do see okay. the, uh, there's a, a small little um, hole in the center that is like got a railing around it and same in the ceiling. And that's where a big uh, bell uh, rope is, um, is ha uh, floating. If that, does that make sense? So basically, there's kind of like a hole in the ceiling through which the rope is hanging. Yes. Uh, from the bell, and it's a kind of like just your generic trademark um, empty-ish pagoda room. Yes. Very I didn't nervous. understand anything. I'm <laughs> 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 kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I'll break you later. Cool. Okay. Yeah. They see me rolling. Uh, you get a view uh, from uh, there are the windows. As you're walking towards the stairs up to the next floor, you can see um, some of the floats being built around the place. You get a better view of the, um, the city from up here. As it's fairly uh. high. Like, the stairs are pretty high. So, like, each floor is pretty high up in the city. Um, you get a better view of a lot. Like, every building that, like, had, like, two to three stories, you can see above. And you can just see, like, some of them have, like, vents and, like, uh, piping. And, like, a vent, um, vent tubing just on the, on the top of them. And, like, a few with billboards for various, um, uh, iconography and advertisements. Hey, Lil Nico. Um, yes. have we done all the steps of the ritual? Because if so, do you want to race to the top? Is, is there anyone else in, in the tower? There is no one else. It's just you three. Uh, you two. Yeah, you three technically. She can say. You you can't hear anyone upstairs. Actually, roll perception. See okay. if <laughs> there, there might be. You don't know. Oh, oh shit, yo. Okay, I'm not even gonna roll. Silent. Well, I still am, because I want to know what I'm perceiving. You... you <laughs> What a time. You think for a second, checking, with listening with your ears. And Shiki also <laughs> raises her ears. Lofi boy, you are like just Why humming. did you roll performance? <laughs> He's being performatively <laughs> listening. <laughs> What's the wrong per? How well are his ears work? Oh, oh, shit, yo! <laughs> you both... Listen, that's I, it. We can't yeah. do any more bowls for the rest. <laughs> Your 20 minutes start now. <laughs> you get plus two on everything in the next 20 minutes. But yeah, you guys like do not hear nothing, and like you, you, you both focus for a minute. Lone, low, low fumble, You almost like, like do a little like sensory scan, 
to like see if you can like hear anyone up on the floors above and you hear nothing. Silence. Perfect chance to race up and like ignore the rituals if you wanted to. <laughs> like we've connected like we're one with the universe. Like we can we can see everything. I can see every step of the pagoda in my mind's eye and yeah, I'm so ready. I've been, like, I feel like this is the moment that I've been built for. Um, <laughs> right here. Right now. <laughs> Liz just gonna look over and be like, you're on. <laughs> both of you roll for me either initiative, actually, yeah, both are all initiative. Initiative? So, yeah, we're gonna do a little chase or race up there. Okay. And I'm gonna get Shiki to roll as well. If I add, that was not who I wanted to add. Oh, bitch. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you're so much, you're like twice my height. <laughs> He's got longer legs. He's designed for this. You do get yeah, plus two like, on those. Long too, legs, but wobbly boy, you know? You do get plus twos on those initiatives, I'll add those. Oh. Um, so, yeah. I mean, the difference will still be the same, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, how, that's how math works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys just bolt it. Um, to the stairs, and Shiki seeing this, she she goes as well. You hear her jingling very happily <laughs> as she dashes past both of you up to the next floor. You guys, really? yeah, she, much is much faster than <clears throat> either of you. She is like she's smoke. Like air. Yeah, she's she's literal air. You can see her almost even like like the smoke coming off of her in like like wow. she like steams almost if that if that makes makes sense with all yeah, the yeah. airports off her. And like you just you don't hear a pit pat, you just hear the jingling of a bell just dash past you guys. And you both all of you just scramble up the stairs following Shiki's dust. Or if she made dust. Um Lo, you being a tiny child with little legs, you are, <laughs> you are scrambling. You're having the time of your life running up the stairs. Doing right my now. best. Lo Nico is clanking as he's going up these uh, hard wood steps. Um onto the next floor, which is if I pull up my we're gonna have to make a meme of me just like pulling up my sheets. <laughs> you have a sheet for the steps? Oh no, for the floor. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I have a sheet no, for floors, we'll... yeah. Okay, okay. You're all good. I'm trying to just remember like if it. Where's. Shrine, shrine, shrines. Like this. The, um, the first floor is the, the washroom. Yeah, uh, this floor, you know, is, is almost similar to the uh, floor below. It's like, or the, the washroom below. There's like a washing fountain in the center. But you can see there's like a pedestal, some plinths, all dotted around the entire room with um, like muds and oils uh, for like uh, rejuvenating your skin. Could you both roll for me acrobatics or athletics as you try and dart your way through uh, in between them all? Those are plus two. Um, low fight boy, you start like not as you, although like Shiki, she's able to like uh dash past most of them. She does like bump into one of the plinths and like it starts wobbling. And low fight boy, you just throw yourself into it by accident. Causing it to like <laughs> fall over and knocking a bunch of the other a bunch of oils and muds everywhere. But low oh, Nico, oh, no. <laughs> and you do make a mess. But low Nico, you're just fast enough to like just like almost like roll and like duck under. Would you roll? Would you roll or would you just like duck? How would you? How are you running through to avoid um, all this mess? She'd probably duck and stuff and just kind of sidestep as much as possible. <laughs> Like, just be very sort of light on her feet and sort of twist out of the way. 
Mm. Yeah, you are able to like just move past all the oils and the uh, the mud, um, the face mask mods, and <laughs> <laughs> Lofa, but you're just causing a mess. It's splashing all over you. You are covered in mud, oil, and water as you see Lo just dash past you, and she's just gone up ahead uh, as you guys continue racing up to the next uh, floor. This floor is almost like the is just like the uh, the empty floor with just a few like benches and stuff. So you there isn't much trouble to like dash through these, and so you both end up getting back uh, to neck and neck while she is just a bit ahead of you. She almost like you look like it looks like she almost slows herself down just to stay um, stay alongside you guys as you race up the pagoda. And the next floor, um, this is the fourth floor now. The fourth floor. Give me a second. This one is um this floor's balcony, so like the 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 circle in the center is a lot wider. So you almost um have to stop in your tracks before like you throw yourselves or uh before like you um step over the railings. And you can see that there's like a balcony around the entire um entire room and like a bunch of like candles that are lit. So could you all roll for me another set of dex or acrobatic saves please okay candles and lanterns this, sorry this time um i'm gonna try to you do, to do a save or just acrobatics acrobatics, oh, good point. acrobatics or athletics sorry okay well we do get plus one on those rolls plus, right plus two plus two okay mm -hmm. Uh, Acro Athletics, go! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna do a flip! <laughs> <laughs> you... As you, um... As you see the candles, you, low Nico, just see Lofa Boy do a flip over one of them. Yes! And... He actually over flips over the bell tower rope, and would you pull? Would you like to pull it, Lofi boy? Oh, yeah, like I'm gonna make it sound like a wedding. Mm. Like you uh, actually, can I roll for performance? Go ahead with that airtime. All right. I was about to say, oh, can man. I give him magic inspiration? <laughs> I'd, I'd I'd let you. I'd let you. I think I need it. That's an extra D8, I believe, or is it D6? It's a D6. Yeah, D6. That becomes right, a 6. It plus two? Yeah. yeah. So, the flip, I, I'd say that's in the athletics. The flip is perfect. Yeah. The flip is stunning. You get you get the perfect amount of air time to get to the other side, and you are now in front of Shiki and Lof uh, Loniko. Um... And you actually pull the bell, creating a huge gong, but there's very little finesse to it. You you aren't trained to pull pull bell ropes. Lo, Lo Nico, you having lived in a pagoda and grown up amongst priests and seers, you 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 know the intricacies of pulling a rope and to get it to ring perfectly. And Lo Fi Boy just has no none of it. It's awful. It's trash. It's the worst bell ring you've ever heard in your entire life and she <laughs> seeing this happen is she jumps and she almost like coils herself around the rope to like stop it and the oh, bell wow. slows slows its ring so and it just stops it doesn't got, stop going in immediately but it just stops gonging after a moment and so you only hope this hasn't uh, raised suspicions. Um, yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, like, is the bell ringing like for only certain times? Does it only ring at certain times, or is it not weird it, for it to be ringing at other times? <laughs> it's <laughs> you know, you know, the bell's meant to ring at very specific times, but sometimes people just like to pull the bell, okay. and the priests won't stop you. It's a form of expression. The priests, priests like that. Um, well, but... 
Lo, I'm so proud. <laughs> good. You should be with that, with that flip. Lo, you're impressed by this flip, but you're also... Honestly, in I've Sorry, just never seen Lo-Fi Boy move. Like I know. <laughs> He's just so limber. He's well-oiled today. <laughs> oh, actually, it makes sense. He was oiled just on the floor below. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's rejuvenated. Yeah. I am. Because my internal uh, things is actually the plants, so mm. when they're happy, I'm happy. Oil and mud is his perfect combo. <laughs> well, you're, um, as you, um, as you do that, you are now able to, Lo, you, um, you are stunned, but then you're also in shock by the bell ringing. But, like, you don't let that deter you, so you keep running. But now you are at the back of the pack. You are... Shiki doesn't let you fall too far behind on your own. And she's... <laughs> she she reassuringly runs just a bit in front of you. And going into the next floor, it's another empty floor. So you won't have to roll anything. And then... Going up the stairs, the final floor is a floor full of sheets of paper and um and lanterns and um and just origami stations essentially and like stations to use these lanterns to light them up and send off your own prayers and wishes could you roll ah. acrobatics and dexterity to reach the stair up to the bell room actually let me count the floors there's one more floor above before the bell room. But yeah, if you want to roll acrobatics or athletics to uh, see how you get past the lanterns and the origami uh, stations. And you got a plus two on that, remember? Wow, I moved the uh, internal order away from the dice roll to have low dice roll right underneath it. <laughs> that is 14 and 23 and time sorry shiki has to roll just give me a minute because i need to pull up the sheet uh -huh. 16. oh no small leg Nico. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't too bad low nico is you don't even see a lo-fi boy uh, on this floor he's already up, moved up to the next floor lo-fi boy you are just dying and dashing past um all the all the like the paper the folded papers that like were like made into like half half finished um creatures and familiars and a few of the, and the unlit lanterns and you just pop and weave between all the stations up to the next floor low nico uh you following uh shiki you um you get onto this floor and you do scramble as you bump into uh, a few lanterns and a few um and a few papers knocking them about but you're too you're too happy you're too excited to I care feel like she's laughing so yeah. hard from my uh -huh. boy's terrible bell ring <laughs> i am glad and i live for that yeah you compared with his amazing flip <laughs> you are filled with pure glee and you guys reach the next floor which is the dining room where one lone priest is <laughs> what is tending a uh, a food uh, a a platter, and he is just in shock as he sees you all just running up. Lou's <laughs> just fucking laughing as she's running. Yeah, Could I guess before before we continue, can I ask how because love for you boy, you would be first in the room. How would you react to that? Exactly. Um, I guess my first reaction would be like, "Oh, a human is consuming food." Oh, a human. He's not is consuming. Consu oh, he's just no. pre he's just preparing food for anyone that oh, wanted to. Eat. Yeah, it's like oh, remember okay. when you were in the pagoda the first time where they were just mm. serving uh, cabbage pancakes and other like okonomiyaki, yeah, other very vegetarian uh, foods. So I guess I, I just, I, like, honestly, like, what would Lo-Fi Boy think is like, oh, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this, but it's kind of too late already. 
So it actually nods and say like hello, as if I have a right to be here, and, and just keep on running. Roll. <laughs> Acrobatics for me. Can I make it in athletics again? Athletics works too. That would be right. 14. You... As you as you go to say hello, you just keep running. You just keep going. Uh, but you do bump okay. into a few tables and a few stairs here. There are quite a few in this room. Uh, the priest just watches you. And then as you leave, he just... Hello? Question mark? <laughs> You, you, don't, you don't even hear him. You don't get the chance to hear him as he says that. He's, okay. he's just in, he's stunned. And then he hears the gleeful laugh of Lo Nico coming up the stairs. And uh, and Shiki following. Uh, Shiki in front. And he just turns his... He pans his head from right to left to see Lo Nico there in place. And you see his hands are raised as if he's waving at someone. You can assume it was Lo-Fi Lo Boy. And you can see the disarray of the chairs having been scrambled around the room from when he bumped into them. How do you react to seeing this lone priest? She's probably like, I feel like she's probably used to surprising priests by doing stuff in temples and mm -hmm. running around. Um, she's just gonna be like laughing and just like hold out a hand and be like, hi, sorry, excuse me, bye, and just keep running. Roll from here to the acrobatic and see how, uh, how will you bop and weave between these. Oh, God. oh no! <laughs> oh, baby. She's you... just getting worse and worse. Her pagoda yeah. was not this tall. <laughs> yeah. You you do feel winded now, and you feel like it's the air is catching up to you. It's, it's very high up, so the air pressure is a bit <laughs> denser. It's not going to help. She's laughing. <laughs> But uh, as you start laughing, you suddenly have that laughter turn to sheer panic as you trip over a chair and are about to fall. Oh, Time, no. I mean, sorry, Shiki seeing this, the priest is just in shock seeing like you apologize for this and just watches you trip over the chair. And you see him also outstretched to reach to help you. Um, and you see Shiki slide under the chair that you fell over. And... You see her tail grow to become a cushion as you fall face Whoa. into the cushion. You see the priest, you just get a chance to see the priest cast Mage Hand, and it looks to be like a pi floppy pillow feather, but it just like bumps into Shiki as she's there first. But you want to face first into Shiki's tail. It she smells of bit... orange and lavenders, I might add. Yeah. She was probably a little bit panicked, but now she's like just landed in a fluffy thing. She's probably just laughing so much, just like face down in Shiki's tail. She just starts laughing again. <laughs> and Shiki just. Shiki helps you up. Uh, would you just continue going to the next floor? Yeah, she's just gonna like probably stumble as she gets up and then just try and mm. run as fast as she can, even though it's probably not very fast anymore. But just yeah. sort of go up to catch up with my five <laughs> And she's just gonna like hold out her hand and be like, thanks, bye, sorry. You just hear the moral. The guy. It, 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 it's, it's okay. Um, but. You're gone before he, you, you can react or you, you actually hear him say that. And reaching the final floor, you reach the bell tower. And this bell is as ornately uh, dressed as the walls of the pagoda are with various depictions of um, ancient myths and tales across Shreyla. And you, reaching the top, um, you're a lot slower, so you are able to take it in easier. You see the tale of... Uh, when Sh uh, Sheehan was split into four. And that is depicted across the bell four times, sh uh, showing where like one split turns into fire, one into water, one into air, and one into earth. And then just other myths around that as well. Mainly a lot of koi fish symbolism being the, and leaves, koi fish and leaves being the big ones. But you reach the top and you can see all of Aitato and the, um, the far uh, west 
sorry, Eastern Ocean, and you can just see a hint of an island off to the north, um, the northeast that you could assume is Kasakawa. And looking out to the west, you can see the tallest Reishabu of Shirelo, surrounded by the Emerald Lake forest or jungle. But you, you no longer have a uh, plus two on your rolls, by the way. But you, you are at the top of the pagoda now. Liz probably just got her hands like on her knees. She's just very out of breath, but also laughing at the same time. Still. Shiki also pants. <laughs> Jingling away. She's, she's just like. No, my boy, that was that was the worst spell rigging I've ever heard. <laughs> what? Uh, well, I, I I haven't heard many bell ringings before. Was it really that bad? She's just like, yes, but the the flip you did was amazing. I've never seen you move like that. <laughs> oh, you know, I I've been built to uh take care of like um. Plants and things. You have to have a good body if you wanna, you know, take care of it. But thanks. We should. Like, we should probably clear up the mess we made. Right. Hey, Don Nico. Hmm. Um. Because like. And looking out into over the city and realizing that Kasakawa is like that seeable from here. Like Lo Fi Boy thinks of like um his um family and stuff, whatever that he wants to go there to deal with the, the place where he's been manufactured. So he kinda lo looks out um and it says, like, you know about Kasakawa that I've been meaning to go there? There's... There's just one thing that's worrying me, though. Um... And that's... And then I just, like, kind of turn around, like, facing back to, to Lil Nico. Like, if it goes like this race, I'm gonna get there before you, because you lost! She was like walking towards him. <laughs> and she's like, well, you do have. She just put her hands on her hips. Like, well, you do have longer legs than me, Mister Lofi Boy. Uh, yeah, but you have, um, um, uh, <laughs> good point. I, I don't have anything else to say, but, uh, I guess I don't know, um. I was gonna say something serious, but then I got nervous. I'm just scared mm -hmm. that, like, I'll be rebooted, you know? And forget about this race, and the candy, and this coat. I don't wanna Who's lose anything gonna... again. She's gonna take one of Lo-Fi's hands in both of hers, so she's got, like, some clasped, and she's just like, We're not gonna let that happen, Lo-Fi. I promise. And even if you do get rebooted, well, I'll just have to make you my friend again. I I'd like that. Thanks, Nico. Yes. Cool. Yeah, Lo's probably going to just have a look at the view and kind of think that she wished because she's in a pagoda, it just reminds her of the Sarah as well. Mm. You can see um, Isoto Castle from here. It is a bit higher up than uh, the pagoda, but you can just see it loom over um, mm. with its walls surrounding it. Just like this is like it would be on the same level as the walls are on the surrounding, where you can just see like bits of the towers of the castle. Mm. Um. But like as the moments pass, um, you the sun shines uh, past one a cloud and then just like creates a little glare in both of your eyes, or low uh, low Nico's eyes, and um, 
Shiki then just uh, shakes herself and you just hear a bell jingle. And then she looks at the big bell. I don't think you can wear that around your neck, Shiki. It's a bit too big. <laughs> she tilts her head confused. I'm worried we might get in trouble if we ring it after all the mess we caused on the way up. She's oh, confused. damn! And her tongue rolls out. Well, maybe we can... Maybe you can try it. Like, if, if it sounds better than mine, maybe it'll compensate for the mess we made, right? <laughs> you know... Maybe. I guess I could give it a go. Can I ring the You bell? can roll roll performance for me. <sighs> this is where I get another now one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh, nice. Yeah, you you ring it a lot better than Lofo Boy. How many <laughs> times are you ringing it? Once, twice? Are you trying to ring, ring a pattern out? Um. I think like I don't know, maybe three, three times. Okay, yeah, they're very strong rings, and Lofa boy, you feel your entire body shake under the pressure of the bell ringing. But as uh, the bell rings three times, you hear a few people cheer from below <laughs> and just clap and whoop as um. As the bell uh, is being rung. Uh, Lo, you know that it's just like that's just something people do when they hear the bell ring. Sometimes when they're around the around the pagoda, some people might just feel inclined to want to cheer. A good bell ringing. Wow! Well, yeah, I guess no one clapped when I rung the bell. She I, I looks very I'm... happy. <laughs> We could work on that. <laughs> so, I guess we've seen the sunset, right? Hmm. I suppose we should, um, uh, what was it you wanted to do to find out more about this quest we have? Yeah, well, I, I want to make it to Kasakawa and, well, I didn't really think it through. I was still a bit hazy from just, I don't know, talking to other people. Um, but I, I just mean, I spent all of my money and I can't make it to Kasakawa by swimming there. And my pants will not like that. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I want to look into it so that we can maybe make enough money to go there or something. Well, if we do our adventures guild um, quests, we can get some money. And uh, yeah. it, it's a spirit that needs to be put to rest, so I kind of need to do it anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, I guess we can we can be on our way, though. It'd be, um, do you think do you think, um, do you think was, uh, I know Pamela's was kind of like having her zoomy moment, um, as Tabaxis do sometimes. Um, but do you think we should ask, um, time for help since we're just the both of us in case anything goes wrong? If he's still in the alleyway, I don't know we can always ask. I mean, what can we hate? And I kneel down to Shiki. Uh, say Shiki, um, he would, you, would you lead us to time? She gives a nod. Okay, well, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that works out. Um, you still have candy, right? For food? Uh, yes. Cool, then we're all set. We've got everything. Could you roll right, perception for mm. me? 
while um what were you gonna say sorry touch that that like <laughs> wow it's all gone it's gone it's gone but yeah as you guys make your way down to the pagoda you notice that the mate the um, the priest that was making the food he had sorted out the chairs and uh he just waves at you both and gives a smile uh to the both of you as you guys make your way downstairs and um no one back. <laughs> no one no one questions um questions you guys having having done anything um as you guys follow shiki she guides you to back to the um to the um ba -ba 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 to the alley that uh you had uh, found time in earlier so i'm just gonna do this uh but as you guys do go back to that alley you hear um you see you see um a large wagon a wagon on wheels it's not being pulled by anything um and it's it's, it's a large metal wagon and it's got like windows on the side and you can see it's just got above it just a um a glowing 7a uh that also has the words lush and sora i mean sorry lush and pagoda um glowing from it and then it's last stop underneath and you can see that um just stop as you guys cross the road and um shiki guides you into the uh, alleyway that you guys are um that you find time in and he's just he's sleeping in his uh, in the same spot but he's not hiding under all the um under the what's it called under the uh, under the trash okay um i guess on the way there as well i w I, I i just want to to add uh, Lofi Boy would also have noticed. Oh yeah, and also Rocky. Um, I'm pretty sure if we need a lawyer for him, like, maybe he was able to afford one, but that is something that, like, I want to look into. It was a bit impulsive to buy this jacket, but... cloak, I mean, but it will probably help to be more accepted in society. All to say that, like, I think if anything goes and we need lawyer, money is good because lawyer is like that thing. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, Nico, a so... child. <laughs> <laughs> what is a lawyer? <laughs> so, yeah. Some um... big city talk is what that is. <laughs> time. Time. Hey, oh. buddy, time. He he looks like he's just woke up, but like, in that, like, he just turns immediately and then just sits back up from his lying position. Hello? Yeah, uh, Loniko had a question, because uh, she was really scared uh, for the thing we wanted to do. Oh. Right? Um, well, I wasn't really scared. Um, m Mr. Time, uh, we were wondering if you wanted to uh, join us on... Uh, quest? We were going to go and investigate this um, house that's haunted by an evil spirit for the Adventurers Guild and Miss Pimera is um, a little bit predisposed right now. Oh. Hmm. She got a bit transfixed by the um, festival koi fish. Oh. Big big floats do do that sometimes. I've, I've I've seen I've seen many many get transfixed by a good float. He looks up, looks down at his wrist, looks at Shiki. Shiki looks very happy and then jingles and it circles around you low. Hmm. Okay. You will. Mhm. Mm I will. Amazing. Uh, uh, Mr. No Five Way, where, where are we going? Well, if I look at the paper properly, um, uh, the paper that 
that I could only see on stream because I never actually got... Um... You should have access to that sheet. If you do not, I'll fix that. Oh, I'm so sorry. doesn't, for some reason, let you see the sheet. Yeah, I did mention it because, like, I could see it before, but... There you go. Is that better? Okay. Um, location. Bus stop at 7A before Lashan Pagoda. Oh, that's where we were. Oh, so they should be... Wait, we were at the Lashan... Yeah, we were. Oh, Are you saying so this out loud? It's just... Yeah, I am. Oh, the 7A just stops around the corner. Oh, yeah, uh, at the bus stop. So there should be... I did not even try to look for an abandoned house on our way here. Wait. And then I, I turned to the alley. Is this the abandoned house? No, no, <laughs> no. This, no. I mean, okay. if it was, it's not abandoned anymore. Uh, wait. Comes with a house key. Yeah, um, you, you have a house key that like, came with the quest card. Okay, I guess I have it, right? Or mm -hmm. Loliko, yeah. Loliko, do you have it? You, you'd have it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, no, clearly there's no key, anyways, for this kind of <clears throat> house. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, I guess we can just go then, just around the corner then. Yeah. As you step out the alley, you see the bus stop. If I put you guys on the map. Um. Oh. Uh, reunited with the void. <laughs> I love the void. Yeah. Give me the faintest of seconds. You guys, you guys just, um, Time just puts his hands in his pockets as he's walking. One hand on his mug that he isn't drinking from. As she walks with you, low. Uh, he, Time, tends to uh, stay behind all of you. But, um... Lo-Fi Boy, you see the, this bus stop that has the 7A atop it. And you can see a few people just waiting outside. A woman standing by a vending machine. Uh, and she looks at you just grabbing a drink from that. And if I get describe what you are seeing, if you just give me the hottest of seconds, the building. Where it is? There we go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you see the the house you can see uh, in front of you is a two-story block of concrete covered in graffiti, and you can see on the first floor a few windows that are like boarded up. But they've got a few like um, cracks in them that like you probably could peer through if you wanted to, and like there's just litter okay. and like overgrown tiles all around the building. As like people that are waiting by the bus stop are actually trying to like stay away from the building as they're waiting for the bus stop they're trying to catch. Is this the road? Yeah, that's the road here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we I would have yeah, been standing not on the road. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so this uh, can, can build this point... here is the uh, is the um, bus With stop. This? Yeah, that's the bus stop. Oh, okay. And the building is from like this corner to to the corner to this corner, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I guess just peering through. Actually, yeah. Turning around to Nico. Hey, Nico. Yeah. Uh, and I just uh, very awkwardly positioning myself between these two people, say out loud. <laughs> if you want to try to interact with people, I'm not very good with that. If there's any information they have, I will look into the window and kind of like go into the same space as the other person. While say he's low level, you notice there's no windows on this wall here. Um, but as you say that. The the man in front of you just steps aside. Just give me a second as I move him. He just looks at you very confused. You notice he's in an apron with like an anvil on it. And he's just... He looks very impatient while he's waiting. But then he just... As he, as you just start like approaching, he's like, oh, it's weird. And then he moves away. And you can also see just a fire genasi in a shirt and tie. Uh, with hair that's in flames that are like spiked. 
is just waiting uh, for a bus. And he, he, see, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to be minding much. And but he does turn when you start speaking, but then he tries to ignore you. You are just looking at the wall. You are looking at a bit of graffiti like... right now. Okay. Can I <laughs> just sort of go up to the guy, the guy with the anvil mm -hmm. apron, and be like, um, I'm sorry, uh, sir, um, do you know anything about this house here? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I've, 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 I've been, I've been here, uh, Waiting for a bus, a few months every every few months on my way to work and from, and this has been the stop I've taken. Um, this is this house has been here for a while, I guess. He looks has very like nervous and like awkward when you approach him. Has it been oh, abandoned a long time? Maybe two ish months, maybe. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, two you, months. Do you know anything about the person that used to live here? Was it someone's home? Do you know if they died? Did I just join in the conversation? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. Oh, my, my bus is here. Uh, and you see him just like walk in front uh, around you both. And you see there's no bus. And he just goes across the street. What a weird guy. I mean, I mean, they just look like regular people. Mm -hmm. They do, oh. yeah. It's like normal, like, like that was just someone like that, like was wearing an apron, but like they were like looking like they were mm -hmm. um, heading from work. They looked like they were like pretty tired. When you yeah. do, after like that guy does walk off, the fire genasi does turn and then taps uh, Lohobo on the shoulders. Okay. Yeah. Hello. I mean, so I, I I listened to your conversation, and uh, someone did die in the house. Oh, uh, yeah. Did what? they have? Did you know them? I, I I didn't. I think I think they they like they, they there was some musician that like played around around here. Um, but like yeah, like they. I mean, I think I think I remember reading a story about like him dying. Cause like I, I remember like knowing like oh that's my bus stop. Did you say a musician? Yeah. I, I, I don't know what he played. I, I don't think I have actually saw him play. I don't. I, I just remember reading that he was a musician. Mm. Well, ooh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I guess, thanks for going out of your way to telling us that. It, it's actually really appreciated. Like, most people don't like talking about these kinds of things, so... Honestly, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, no worries. Um, and he goes back to looking at the bus. Um, waiting for the bus. Shiki, she, um... She goes forward and she just looks at the vending machine as it just like shines white um what's the word light um fluorescent light and she just starts she's just looking at all uh all the wares that are uh, to being sold by it Phew. Okay, I guess we can try the door then with the key and start investigating. Mr. Lo-Fi Boy, wasn't there another person here? Was there? You can write uh, this option. There was someone looking at the vending machine, wasn't there? There were three people. I don't know why. Why did that go twice? <laughs> or was it was that being from before? I, I don't know. I think that was from before. I think the fight was from oh, before. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, but yeah, you yeah, yeah. you do remember there was someone, but they were like just like buying a drink, and then they made 
they were they walked away okay yeah i'm pretty sure that like they just went around the corner maybe i don't know if it's a popular thing to do here but maybe they're just sleeping in another alley okay now, now everyone sleeps in the alley time, time <laughs> says from behind <laughs> So you do realize it's not a common thing to do. Yeah, I, I um, yes. Oh, okay. It's... I thought you were trying to make it normal. No, no, no. It's just like that's like a home. It's a home. Can you I look have a look at what she she is looking at? You can. Um, before you do that, he just like points down to the box. Like that looks pretty homely. If, if I don't, if I, if I don't say so, if I do say so <laughs> myself, looking down at this cardboard box filled with trash. Anyway, <laughs> you know what? Time, you know, no it's comment. a very soggy bit of cardboard. Like the, um, it's bloated, and you can like see it's like it's just like it's holding on for dear life from all the water damage. Um, but yeah, you can look in at the vending machine. Uh, you notice it's just like dispenses a bunch of like uh drinks, and you can see amongst them is there's good berry soda, uh, various fruits and teas and um fruit juices and fruit sodas and teas and uh, milk drinks but you do notice the stock is rather limited i'm just gonna pat shiki on the head <laughs> she jingles and then i guess look into the alley i can't see this bit for some reason <laughs> Where is I the think door, it's just though? out it's of your side, right? Yeah, the doors, the doors are on the side. Oh, I thought I thought the door was here. That's why I was yeah. like, yeah, I'd be following then. I think it's just out of your field of vision, low. There's something black, like hiding. It's really like, dark down here. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, there's a, there's a weird thing here. There's no yeah. light, like in this area. Oh. Yeah, there's just like yeah, like that. That's just like from shadow, overcast shadow from like the fact that there's a big ass building on the other like oh, side okay. of that. Like this is just like a little alleyway. Yeah. So like there's another building that's like just casting shadow. Whoa. Okay. You can. So where's the that's a door? window. The door's not on this side. This? But that's a window. You do see one of the boarded windows up on uh, the first floor. You. You you'd probably be able to tiptoe to get a peek in, if you wanted to. Actually. I can get, I, I see a little, little bit, but it's not, it's probably quite representative of what I'd actually be seeing. Yeah, like There's that's just a like, bunch of rubble. Yeah, you can inside. like, you just, roll me perception or intelligence, see if you can like determine what like you're looking in at. Yeah, I'm going to go intelligence because, since I can actually see a little bit as a player. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like what you can see as a character, you see as a player. As long as you're not clipping through the wall. No, no, I'm not clipping. There's a little yeah. bit I can actually see here. You can see like pots and pans and like a... Let's see what you can see from here. Like you can see like a kick yeah. of a bucket and just like in just out of mm. the field of view is bits of a, um, a fireplace. So you could assume okay. that's the kitchen. Um, okay. As you see like I these see. bins here, sorry, uh, like just like full of trash. Uh, with piled of books and just like bin bags and cardboard and like smashed crates that are warlogged filling it. Kind of follows. I was um, trying to summon a dancing light and I, I can't. <laughs> you can't, no worries, let me help you with that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. I guess we can still try to go find the door then. Oh. Is this it? No, that's another window, that's right? That's another window, yeah. If you wanna, like, get a peek in, you can. Nah, I'm, I'm, at this point I just wanna find the door. We're gonna get enough peeks yeah. when we get in. Getting on the other side of the alleyway? You see some steps on the right of the building. And you can see, like, it's taped up and, like, got cones in front of it. And you can see just out on, like, the um, the railing, the, the concrete railing, 
is of the uh, the stairs you can see there's a um a sheet of paper with adventure the adventure guild sealed on there and you can see up the stairs just a bunch of like crates and like just just clutter and like litter and like empty um empty like packets of like food and like noodles and stuff and like just cans just all over the place would the door be like here yeah the door is right there you you see a door okay. and there is a earth genasi guard in black armor or black splint armor with green striping on it and just walking down the uh down the streets okay and like i guess i, I just say like oh hi, hi there and i just wave the badge thing could or, you, or he before you do that oh. could you roll perception for me oh performance perception <laughs> no, i'm just kidding You can roll this all lonely code if you want. I did. Yeah. It's not showing. Oh, it is. Yeah. Is it the 17 and the 8? Yes. Yup. Yeah. Low, uh, 1080, you don't notice anything. But low, you notice time is not following you anymore. And Shiki is only there. Mm. As uh, the Genasi God sees you flaring him down with your seal, he uh, comes over to you. You, you look at him and he looks like he's holding himself very proudly and very smugly. Can I help you, right. citizen? Sorry, no, 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 just... Yeah, uh... Well, unless you have any... Uh, rumors or information about this uh, abandoned house thing... Well, hmm. I just wanted to state our presence here uh, as legitimate people being here in this place. At this hour of the time of the thing. Your presence is stated. I've just been told, uh, I've, I've been, I'm one of the, um, the guards that are on patrol to keep an eye on Zeri to make sure no one but guild members are able to step in. You're the first, uh, you're the first one to actually stop by on my watch, uh, since starting. To be fair, I've been, I've been doing this for a month. So it's, uh, nice to see the guild finally doing something about it. Yeah, maybe it'll clear up your, I mean, I don't know how good or bad the neighborhood is, but maybe if we deal with this, maybe you'll get to walk around in, you know, a more lit, nice area. You, you, as you say that, you do see like there are like lampposts and stuff like aligning the the uh, the streets, and it isn't. It doesn't look like a bad neighborhood. It just looks like this one specific house is just like. It looks like it's a surprising amount of like disrepair for a house that's been abandoned mm. for such a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I hope we can fix this problem for you, sir. I hope so too. Um. Yeah. Good. Oh, uh, do you just a, a, another question uh, before we leave? Uh, you said you've been here for uh, multiple months. Do you have any idea of like how long this house has been here for? I mean, this is pause. This 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 house has been here for since since I've ever. I mean, I'm not. I'll be fair. I'm not from Isato. Mm. I've, I've only just been shipped here uh, from Kasakawa. So. Uh, do you know anything um, about the house that you think we might need to know about its resident? That used to live here. There, there, there is, there, is, there is one weird thing that that does happen. It, it starts leaking. Like, I like not, 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 no pipes or anything. Like, like you, like you see here, like, and he goes towards the wall, and he just like tiptoes and points to a crack just by uh, the window here. Here, like, like, not just this crack, but like all over the house, it just. Just might start leaking. Huh. That is very uh, weird. Do you know anything about how the person that died here died? I, th I think it was some like drowning or magic accident, if I remember. Though, 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 there, there was some newspaper article about it. I, I, I don't is remember there... the off the top of my head. But I just remember hearing. 
anywhere we could read these articles? Hmm. Well, there's, there's, there, I mean, I'm not sure how organized things are, but aren't there like an article archive that exists for documentation purposes? In the library, maybe? Probably a library, yeah. I mean, there's there's a news news store just just around the corner. I think they might keep hold of old older uh, newspapers, maybe. But the library would probably be your best bet. Okay. Well, what was your name? If we ever come across you, um, you're kind of. My name cool. is Atashi. Atashi. Okay. We're gonna keep that in check. All right, uh, well, uh, I guess, well, Nico, what do you feel more comfortable doing? Do we just poke our noses in, or do we... Because I, I feel like whether we read that rumor or not, um, I'm not sure it will change much of how we're going to interact with this home. Right? Well, if we want to put this spirit at rest, we should probably know as much about them as possible um, and if we just need to read an article to do that it's been mentioned twice now so it's probably got quite a bit of information in it uh, uh, okay I, I, I'm not, I don't have that much experience with spirits being put to rest by put to rest we do mean kill right uh, in essence yes I suppose, okay. but if there's a way, uh, clearly they suffered a lot, which is why their spirit is lingering and um, um. <laughs> and is causing um, all of these side effects and bad things happening. So if we can find a way to right a wrong or speak to them first, hopefully, rather than fighting, we might be able to find a way to just appease them and help them move on okay so it's like basically if a flower is about to die um you can choose to burn it which is kind of extreme for the flower or you can just try to you know like outroot it or try to put it in better soil so that it just lives the rest of its life in a more peaceful way right yes uh yes i think that's a good way to put it Okay, let's do some gardening then, and and check out the information we need. Um, oh, oh, time! You're here. Oh, yes, I've 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 been I've been here. Oh, I, I feel, um, I feel like I had lost you there for a second. Um, so uh, we're just gonna, I guess, uh, assess. Uh, gather data um, information very quickly mm -hmm. um, and then we'll come back right here just around the corner right that the shop thing was right Onikro? Uh yes a newspaper stand uh, which way was it? it was just around the corner uh, to your left there is isn't on the map okay can we go yeah when you do time I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll investigate around here. I think. I mean, sure. Continue. Oh, oh, you heard about the the water leakage, right? I did. I did. Okay. Cool. Cool. Just making sure we're on the same boat here, because mm -hmm. you know water. That's good. Okay. Be careful, Mister Time. You too. She will be with you, so I'll I'll just be in the alley. <laughs> and um, you guys. Make your way to the newspaper stand. It's um, it's a small little stand that like has a few like various articles for like um from various newspaper uh, companies, and you can see that they're just about to shut, but they see that you're coming towards them, and so they stop and they just like make themselves more presentable. You notice they've got like a little um, a little cap, and then they just make like uh, straighten that cap up, and they're a they just a normal uh, tiefling uh, woman. Hello, how can I uh, help? Uh, welcome to uh, Isotone Newsstand. How can I help? 
Hi, um, we were wondering um, if you remember the article or even have the article about the house down there, the one that's been um, blocked off that um, someone died in a couple months oh. ago. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I, I actually, I remember when those papers came in, I, I, I used, I used to, um, you notice that she is kind of in, in slight shock for a second. I, um, I actually used to sell papers to Mr. Mr. Amano. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I've got the papers somewhere here. I, I usually keep, keep a few clippings or just like even older newspapers that are important to, uh, yeah. Mr. Amano, you said that, that, that was the person that lived there? Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Ichika Amano. He, he was, he was a shamisen player. He, he would, he would busk around and play, play on the street and sometimes with the temple. I hear good little Nico. Do you have that in writing? <laughs> uh, she, <laughs> she keeps scrambling. That. Um, and like a few minutes pass uh, as she's still searching. You see that she is, you can hear that it's frantic, not frantic, but like there is like concern when like they're searching or like at least like purpose is where I'd put it. <clears throat> Here. Um, and she thrusts forward a newspaper and like it's already turned to a certain page uh, and you can see one little uh, clipping um, in perfect focus. If I do this. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Ooh. Wow, that's actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. Oh, oh, is it okay if I read this out loud? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. <clears throat> In Saturn news, a resident of the Pagoda district had passed away after a plumbing accident had caused the homeowner to drown within the confines of his private abode. Ishika Amano was a tiefling musician who was beloved by the locals and would often be heard playing their drums for Shamisen all over the streets. But now, no strings hum to mourn the passing of a musical soul. The hidden guard on the scene had done a thorough investigation, learning that Mr. Romano had attempted to practice magic within his homes using the teachings of books such as Wizarding Basics and the Music in Magic. The magical permanence gathered has been identified as being sourced from an unrefined caster and it, presu it is presumed that Mr. Romano had incited this incident with a poorly produced spell. There is actually more that didn't seem to go, um, I seem to add. It's, oh, um, uh, it's the last there. paragraph. Yeah, there's a lot, there's, an, there's one last paragraph. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can read that. The Hirade who had investigated the events, Hiran Nakoto, had one statement to make. This was an extremely tragic event that could have been avoided by finding the proper avenues to learning the arcane arts. I implore that those that and that, then actually yeah on. there there's uh, what's me like bad copy and paste job on my end sorry <laughs> this... <laughs> the newspaper was like kind of too old and saggy at that point <laughs> yeah oh uh, do you have another copy of this newspaper like this one is kind of there's a coffee stain yeah no, no um i mean i don't have another copy but you can you can have that one yeah it's just that one yeah, that's I, I only I only keep one of like old copies. I can't actually find um, the um find it. Yeah, that's fine. It ju it just states that like um with like those that like want to like learn magic should seek to either ask a temple or uh, a, the DMV to want to get trained in uh, the arcane arts and learn from a repu reputable source to avoid such. Um, of course. Tragedies again. And um, excuse me, Miss. You seem to have known um, Mr. Armano personally. Could you tell me um, how old he was? He he was he was he was in the thirties. Uh, I didn't I didn't know I didn't know much. I would just see him. He but he'd buy a few good berry sodas. Uh, from the, from the vending machine near, near his house, and he'd buy a few little little snacks like peanuts and stuff while he 
would be going out for a day and busking. And sometimes he'd even perform right outside my stand. It, he, he would actually bring in uh, good business. Um, people wanted to hear him play and sometimes people wanted to hear good news while while, while that was happening. Um, was there any particular type of song you liked to play? I think... Have you, have you, um, have you heard the song The Mountain's Melody? Um, what I'll say is... Uh, Lo, you you recognise that the name of that song? Yeah. It's um, it's a shamisen standard essentially. <laughs> Could um, would Lofi boy? Would you have to roll a history check to see if you know that song? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Is it called Mountains? Yeah, Mountains Melody. Mountains, Mountains Melody. Melody. Yeah. It's um eight. You... Are we still close of something right now? Ponto? Oh, never mind, never mind. I never said anything. Oh, what did you want to spell, sorry? Oh, I was just asking about the name, but I've got that name, so it's fine. Oh, cool. Oh, the paper has the name. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> On my part, I'm, so, I'm, I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, The Mountain's Melody by... Um, by what's, what's their name? Oh, it was... Um, Samara Masura, that was it. I don't know if you, you might you, I don't, uh, you might be a bit too young. Um, the album from In the Racial Blue Shadow. Um, I know was... that one. Oh, I know it nice. well. That's nice. Yeah, that that was his that was his that was his favorite album. And, like Mountains Melody was his, his favorite song to play. Thank you very much for your help, Chris. No worries. Um, hope hope. I assume you were you were the guild. I hope I hope it goes well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take care now. Oh, uh, okay. Before you go oh. uh, here, uh, and she passes you uh, two pe uh, pack of peanuts and a uh, can of good berry soda. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um. No, no worries. Do, do we need to pay for those? No, 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 no. no it's, it's okay, it's yours. Oh, okay. Um, thank you. Well, we'll, we'll try to put Mr. Amano at rest, so if he isn't, like, I turn to Nico, is information confidential? Should we not be talking about this with them? Um... I think this is fine. Yeah, so if they turn to a yokai, we'll kill them so you can sleep or out. Uh, thank you, goodbye! And she's just gonna push me <laughs> and <play> away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said it, and as soon as my the words left my mouth, as a, like, immediate regret, like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh dang, I feel I'm blushing RL right now. That's not yeah. bad to say. <laughs> she feel uh, starts saying it, Lou's just like, okay, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> just pushing him from behind. She puts on oh, a, um, a sad smile as she, as she waves you off and then goes okay. to shutting down her store. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry about that. You can see time uh, just like, just like looking through, uh, the trash as you guys are um, as you guys are <laughs> Of course, I would expect nothing less of him. Like no way. When uh, you when you do see him, though, you notice like the alley smells a lot better. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting, actually. Mr. Time, we're back. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Did, did you get what you needed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I, I I was looking through the trash. There's a lot of books, and a lot of them are wet. Um, but I did find a newspaper, actually. Um, okay. About someone dying nearby, I guess. Like, um, and he shows you the same article. Is a, oh, this is a clipping that was like, found. oh, 
Mm-hmm. I guess this we asked is... the nice lady up at the newspaper stand. Oh, yes, that's nice. I guess this is the house then you guys are looking for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He nods, Ed? looking proud of himself. And it gives you <laughs> all a thumbs up. Do we want to head in? Oh. Excuse me, Sam? I was just going to say, this is great teamwork. You're really not redundant in any way or <laughs> shape or form. <laughs> <laughs> but he just uh, turns, tilts happy. his head. I finger gun him. <laughs> he finger guns you back. I I I put my hand on my chest like he shot me. <laughs> you hear a a chuckle that resonates from within you. Oh wow! Okay, now I'm actually scared. <laughs> I I stop like. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, well, Nico, you were saying. Uh, I was just wondering if we should head in. I think so. Shiki's already one step ahead, and she, you hit, you see her jingling as she begins climbing up the stairs. The the stone steps. You notice they're all like um, covered in like moss and like overgrown and are a bit slippy as you guys like move past the uh, the tape and the cones in front of you uh time um i've searched his hand so for you to go first slow and then he uh, looks behind him and then follows in suit this this square is the door right yeah that's the door uh the door itself is a thick wooden door that looks to be a mess it's in shambles and like it's heavily waterlogged. Mm. Um, Sad door. When you like get near the door, you like you can smell like just of mold and like wood and like just wet wood mm. and wet rugs. And like the door itself looks very bloated and like when you put the key in, there is a bit like you have to put in a bit of force to push it open. But it does, but the, that is the key for the door, and it does click and then open. And I'm going to show you what that hallway looks like if I get to roll 20. Spooky. Mm, the door creaks as you open it. That goes on for a long time. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a very creaky door. It's very creaky. Dang. You guys can see into the room. He says. Can you not see into the room? <laughs> I can see like two squares in front of me. Yeah, same. <laughs> you, you, it's 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 very same. dark. It is very dark in there. Like I I am using the dy- dynamic lighting the way uh, we used to use dynamic lighting in um in the West Marches, so you won't get to see all of the map either unless you draw out a map or you uncover the entire map or find a map. Uh, it's giving okay, me something okay. as I change the music. Um. I can't believe you're making me do spooky things at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the briefest of seconds as I can't find the plates I literally just made. Here you are. Here you hear the door The door creaked open as, as you guys enter. And... Upon setting foot and crossing the threshold, if I describe what happens, the smell intensifies immediately, and you can just see like the floor is heavily waterlogged, and all the furniture that you can see that is like being illuminated by your dancing lights is um is just waterlogged and just damaged by an immense force of water 
if you want to stop there for a second, Lockhart Boy. But yeah, you can just yeah, you just see like this disarray from um, and you can even see like puddles on the floor, like they're like. As soon as you step over it, you feel like a, a, a small sense of dread, and oh. upon full, everyone crossing the threshold, you all feel um, low. Specifically, you oh, before you go to that, uh, you can also see in the small in the corners of the room on the ceiling. It's not very high ceiling, about thirty feet. Um, you can see like small congregation of spider webs covered in dew. And low, when you enter, you s your dancing light immediately gets snuffed out. What? If I do this, the door shuts, and you hear the door creak shut behind you. Not even creak, it just slams shut behind you. Just give me a second as I do that. Um, as the door shuts behind you, you feel this sudden wave come crashing towards you and smacking you into the door behind you, and you feel it dampen uh -huh. your spirit. Just low, low, uh, low for you don't feel this. Uh, below, you feel the smack into you, and it dampens your spirit, and the air uh, grows harder to breathe for a moment. And as like this feeling falls off you. You um, the breathing is easier, but it's still hard. Uh, could you roll me a wisdom save? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what was it wisdom? Wisdom, yeah. Okay. And that's where we're gonna end the session. <laughs> you can't do this. Uh -oh. <laughs> thank you for some wife tilly you just missed the end of uh the session but thank you for the sub i hella appreciate that you're a bean uh, remind me or if we actually note that down uh next session you guys will get an extra 10 minutes of a plus one thanks to tilly thank you tilly uh, cute. Yay, thank you oh wow um so yeah before <laughs> i'm gonna put on the ending musics so if I stop the uh, the dungeon exploring music, I am gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Just give me the briefest moment. I'm very sorry. Um. But yeah, thank you guys for playing. Thank you guys who are watching or lurking or watching the VOD and or have been vibing. I hello appreciate you guys being here. It means the world and. Thank you for enjoying, and I hope you've enjoyed yourselves, and you guys as players as well. I had an absolute mm -hmm. blast. This was a very sweet session. I had a lovely time, but now I feel like I'm going to have a panic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll just have to wait till uh, next Sunday to see how how things go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um. But yeah, uh, with that, I'm going to end the session uh, with a few little little things. Uh, we finished our 600 follow dice giveaway. Uh, Kat Minda has won, so I shall get into contact with them for their custom-made dice. Um, I'll next be streaming tomorrow. I'll be doing some art. It'll probably be 10 p.m. GMT. We'll see what's up, depending on how sleepy I feel. Or it may be early in the morning and the afternoon. So early Canadian, afternoon English. Um, <laughs> um, I love that you know that. <laughs> I have to. I have to know that. So all my husbands live. It's his two cousins. Mm. Other than that, that's that's everything I think for me. Um, Georgia, anything you wanna share? Um, so usual, I do some art. Um, I make jewellery. I'm currently in the process of making a rogue pendant to be released this year. Exciting. That's exciting. Right, it looks so cool. <laughs> I started carving some keys, skeleton mm. keys today. <laughs> hey. Go, um, um yeah, like go, go check out her Instagram and then check out her Etsy. They're so cool. 
and she does like not just like D and D stuff. It's like just like there's there's the her is it swords and sorcery or is it just swords series? Probably was the same time. Yeah, it's like a warrior poet collection. Mm. Is what I called it. But yeah. yeah. All sort of based on swords and armor and that kind of stuff. It's nice, gorgeous yeah, if you work. Want to have updates on when I'll be releasing some D and D jewelry, follow me. Go, <laughs> I'm doing go, jazz go, hands, go. but no one can see it. I see him. I believe in him. They're here. I I should make a jazz hands emote. Um, <laughs> Sam, tell us about you. Oh, um, hello. I'm Sam. Um, I'm mostly active here, uh, and actually, um, like, if you want to, like, hang or do cool things or whatever, um, you'll probably catch me most often, like, as a guest here, so if you want to, like, stay up to date with, like, when things like that are happening, or just for casual vibes, the Discord is... <laughs> Like is like the place to be. So there you go. Yeah. Um. What else is there? Uh, before I uh, we go into our raid, um, I think Sam stream <laughs> McClunky Sam stream. So I'm gonna probably go raid into him. He is. Really? So I'm gonna go raid into him. Um. Next session we'll be uh, debuting the lair actions uh, channel point redemptions. So stop oh, off. Nice. Yes. So stock while your channel points and you can help me mess with the players by uh, doing some lair actions. Cry. I'm so sorry, Georgia. I <laughs> I was thinking like I should I should have given you like expectations for this. Um but I, don't, it'll, I think I think it'll be fun. I, I'm excited. It's my favourite type of thing to run whenever I do dungeons and stuff. Um it's actually what he was speaking about on Hops and Dragons when I, um, when I was over there. But yeah. Oh, sneaky boy. Because I remember <laughs> you talking about that. I didn't even make think about like what it would mean. Mm. Well, don't, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, join the Discord if you want to stay up to date with our community. We do a bunch of cool art uh, and D and D events. We've got a West Marches D and D game that's hopefully starting back up next week i've just had to reschedule a few things or we'll reorganize a few things um community art events every month where we do art prompts and do some um stuff together and like we we share our process and get some good art, uh, art habits going uh and we do movie nights and we just do a bunch of other cool stuff and we just usually someone's in bc at, at some point in the day so you're able to vibe whenever you want to if you want to catch up with the rest of the campaign, uh, Throne of Top Sands, you can over on my YouTube. And you can also find all the playlists uh, for Throne of Top Sands there. And you can use them in your personal games because they are public use. Um, although like the license for them is commercial. You, if you want to use free streams, you're going to have to grab that from Artlist.io, who are amazing. Um, I'm actually going to be grabbing their sound effects next. Um, was it their door that we heard today? That was not. That was the door I used <gasps> for the Halloween one shot. Um, oh, I see, I see. Nice. But that's everything, I think. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Two Minute Tabletops. Uh, two Minute, yeah, Two Minute Tabletop for his, uh, his ass our assets. Uh, I've, I've used them for all the maps, uh, other than the the world map and uh, the Vibin map. Um, and the token art and uh, some of the map art is also done by Flower. If I just do a shout out for him, so you guys can see his his stuff. Um, and soon I might actually be making my debut as a map artist. So that's exciting. Nice. And I'll be also doing token art. Not map art, sorry, token art. Yeah, I'll be doing token soon. Let's zoom in on on that. Yeah. that is uh, session 11 time in the dark um, we're going to go raid it into McClunky Squadron so I'm going to put us on the end card and give us a raid message and then follow us into the raid and support Sam because I love him and he's amazing and he deserves the world just like my players anything you guys want to say before we leave thank you just thank you thank you thank you for DMing thank you for watching thank you for lurking thank you for 
chatting. Thank you for thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This was is always really fun. Maha, <laughs> bye. 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 PC laying around way back there. Yeah, I'll be back.